I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to Keeping It Bu. Yeah. This is the fourth episode. Hey. I got my, you know, podcast husband Dustin here, That's and right. I got a very, very, very special guest. Who's got... your guest? It, it, tell us, tell <clears throat> us a little bit about your guest before you drop that name, because it's a little name with a lot of big shit behind it. Is this on? <laughs> yeah. She's the person that I feel like has the most talent. Mm. One of the most talented voices mm. that's okay. not recognized the way they need to be recognized. You recognize that voice, but you should recognize that name even more. That, Keep going, that, Pastor. That, that, okay. that voice yeah. should be recognizable enough. I heard because that. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to this bum-ass industry, wow. motherfuckers don't worry about the talent no more. Mm-hmm. It's like talent doesn't matter in the industry no more. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have talent. I guess now it's luck and uh, the way you look and your image, I guess. I don't fucking know what it is, but it definitely ain't, <laughs> it definitely ain't talent. But we definitely got a little mo in hey, the fucking hey, building. Hey. I'm here to keep it beaut. Keeping it beaut. Shout All out to little mo. Facts. You see, I got my red glasses on. I had to throw something on. I'm with So I'm finna keep as it real. As long as you got them red glasses yes, on. Ma'am. I'm finna keep it real, too, because I'm a huge fan, mo. Thank right? You. So I, 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 it would be an injustice if I, if I didn't get my boy, Dr. Kyrie Horsley, one of my longtime friends, we used to go to your shows like every chance we could get. Really? I remember when you, this is really finna age me, but I don't give a fuck. This is what you do when you can, <laughs> yeah. right? So you had tour with Seagrams. It was you and I think Raheem Devon way back yeah. in the day. That was like 05. Right. We went. Um, Damn, and I was like 14. Word. Yeah. <laughs> and I was in the club, but that's another story for another time. <laughs> and so, but we went to that shit. Um, and I just remember, right, that was right around the time that second album had dropped. And it was a song on there yeah. where you, you had written it, you and Missy, about um, doing me wrong. Yeah. Just like a bird without his wings. You was yeah. just sitting around. We used to oh, say man, that to each other. Cry. Yeah. All sentimental so shout out to Lil Mo, you know Thank what I'm saying? Oh. You know? It's black, oh, black, black music you. is really in the building today. So Thank we're going to recognize that impact. Now you got it, baby. Yes. Well, we was talking about this scar. Yeah. And these edges. I, yeah. I want to get back to that. Like, right. so basically bitches be thinking that you don't got no edges. Yeah. Not knowing yeah. that you got into an incident. Yeah. So I all y'all bald headed bitches who's bald headed, <laughs> suck her fucking dick. You heard? Like, right. like all y'all bitches who's really bald headed, suck her fucking dick. Like, yeah, because I got it. Edges galore. Like, everybody knew I had yeah. the braids, but like three days before my album was scheduled to come out in 01, I was assaulted in San Francisco. Wow. And what's crazy is that's still one of my major markets. So a lot of people, you still come out here. I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I? Right. Like, I don't, I'm not going to let one monkey stop my show. But at the same time, I realized I was just out here just running around, not realizing who you who are. I was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just hopping around, and, and I was assaulted. So I and get, like, I don't think a lot of people know how little you are. Yeah, like you're really so tiny, and cute. Like, oh, oh my god, thank she's thank so you. little. It take my one and no one. Both of y'all little and cute. No, I'm See? taller than her. Though. How tall are yeah. you, Star? I'm five three and a half. And how tall are you, Mo? Four eleven. Four nine. Oh, they down there. They, they, uh, they Four nine. I got on heels, and she got on heels, and she's still short. I be hype when I. But everybody thought I would always be tall because I have long legs, long legs, and a short torso, right? Yeah. They used to shoot me up like when they do my videos they shoot up so mm-hmm. people yeah. like oh, I thought you was gonna be tall I was like nah I'm really I'm, little mo <laughs> man, man, you really are little like oh, little yeah. mo bro like I never got it until I seen her the other day and was like who, who's, yeah, who's child is yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like hey when I um, wave she was, I was like hey she was like I was like it's me mo she was like yo you really are little yeah. I really yeah. are so yeah. little so y'all saw each other in Philly, huh? Y'all yes. was at uh, we was at um, Made, Made in America. America. Yeah, I went yes. to the festival too. How did y'all feel about the uh, the crowd this year? Because I was very very surprised at how young and white the it audience was, was. Young and Anglo. I was like, is this spring break? MTV spring break? Or is this yeah. Made I in didn't America? Like the crowd. Like, it was very it young and white. It was yeah. It they was... buy tickets, so that's what's up. But I, but you know, I just was like, I'm, am I finna watch Gucci Mane with you know what I'm saying? The cast of 90210. They was getting with it, though. Yeah. They was getting with it. That goes to show that the culture has transcended over to a whole nother uh, color. Whole nother, whole was, nother sector, but yeah. I be kind of looking at them crazy because, you know, we say the nigga a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And they be saying it. And them, they said it. And I'm like, who said they could say it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They really was saying it when they that guy was performing. It. They were saying every word he was saying, saying yes. nigga. And I was looking at them like, oh, don't worry, Star. You're not even supposed to be out here. Just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> listen, Star. Just don't even do it to them. Don't no, even do really it to them. saying it. That's so wild to me. So wild. Like, who gave them the... Who... who like authorize the pass right because maybe I'm lost but they be saying it more than us yeah. they got that pass from I don't know who 
Not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not me. It wasn't me. Okay, so I just learned this the other day. How many kids you have? Five that I gave birth to. Okay. Five All kids. via cesarean. Yep, five children. Wow, you have five C-sections. Yeah. Cause I, you know what? After I had the first one, they, they say you got to keep going, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like, I mean, I, I ain't, ain't got nothing. Baby. Ain't and no machine purse. down here. So ah! I don't know how it works. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> yeah. It's just like honestly, there are some people who can have a V back that's vaginal birth after cesarean. Mm-hmm. I think but, you got to wait like two years oh, or do something you? like that. Yeah. But it's like it's like once you have a C section and you realize like. Oh man, this is lit! All I gotta do is stay here for five days. And, you know what I'm saying? My, my purse stay yeah. Chanel tight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like, you know, it's like you know, and then you don't have to go through labor pain. Yeah. So after that, I was I just elected to have all cesareans. And one thing is like they say you can't have more than three. My mm-hmm. mom had four. My sister had three. Yeah, and I had um five because it was just like my doctor said your uterus is it's fine is perfect. Yeah, I don't have any scar tissue. Mm-hmm. But one of my best friends that's actually an OBGYN, he told me what to say. A lot of people go in there and they've had bad experiences. Okay, like with okay. Me, he was like, tell them once they open you up, cut out the scar tissue and tell them to sew you tight, dissolvable stitches and steri strips, so that looks like a, a tummy tuck. Yes. Mm-hmm. So everybody thinks I went to Dominican. No, this is childbirth. Yeah. <laughs> Bless me, and I don't have no stretch marks. Like, oh, my, that's my, good. My college. Do you want to have more kids? Yes, I do. Oh my god, she might be pregnant. Now, no, oh my god! I, I hope you are though. No, yeah. no, no, no! I do. No, I got music to. Child, I just start sweating. It's alright. Guess what? what? You could do it. You could do both. Who's I know that? a person who did it, so you could do it. <laughs> it's crazy. You could do my it. Kids are three years apart, but my baby just turned four, so it's just like I don't. Yeah, it's time. So you didn't cross no. that threshold. No, it's time. Yeah. The three years is time. Like, every three years, we got to keep this tradition. Like, oh, we got to no. keep this going. Just five of them. And, like, <laughs> literally, when I dropped them off, to like, when I left today, I was just like, dang, I don't want to leave my kids. And, oh. like, I have a lot of stuff coming up. And just, like, you know, I'm really at the deprogramming stage of my children because I just, like, literally just got out of abusive relationships. Mm-hmm. So it's just, like, my relationship with them is priority. So if I bring another in this world, then the baby, he's going to be like, yeah. yeah, because I was holding a baby, uh, my friend's son, and my son just looked at me and he wanted to smack the baby. I'm like, yo, you can't be like that. He's so controlling, yeah. he's so overprotective. And he was pointing at everybody like, mommy holding a baby. And I was just like, yo, you can't be like that. Yeah. You're a grown man. He like, ain't having that shit. I'm the yeah. youngest too, so, so shout out to the youngest. Oh, for real? Hell yeah. The youngest don't get no whoopings. Them are our parents. You know what I'm saying? Can't, I can't just stand them that they don't get no whoopings because me, I got beat you, all types of ways. Like I was on every punishment. All types and of yeah. ways. Bad. And I yeah. still was bad. I wasn't bad at all. I wasn't all. giving a fuck. That's why they was whooping your ass. <laughs> listen, listen, no, I, I'm like in the middle. I'm my father's really? oldest, but I'm in the middle. Like my mom, I have two sisters above me, and okay. then I have like a one sister under me. But it's a simple fact that it's like I used to feel like I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, and I'm gonna get that whooping you know, later. Like yeah. you know I me, mean? like it is what it is. I'm like I'm I ain't die. <laughs> like my, I'm the oldest, so I always got everything. But the the whoopings and yeah. the punishment and then you know the other kids they would play like they would sleep and it just seemed like my sister and my brother that's the babies they never got in trouble yeah. but you know what's so funny I'm the spoiledest one even though I'm the worst like I used, I used to, to get suspended or expelled from school and my mother uh, my father used to be like oh you so you want to go shopping I'm to five high schools like eight junior high schools three suspension schools and I still came to school fly as fuck you know, oh it's been I lit was, I was <laughs> you know what I used to be mad at my mom cause I would be like you know my parents just celebrated over 40 years of being married wow and congratulations my cousin that was from the Bronx that used to live with us his mom and dad were um they had separated, so he came to live with us. Mm-hmm. And I asked my mom one time, I was like, why are you still married? Everybody that don't have their dad living with them, they get Jordan. So why can't you leave dad? So you Jordan? Jordan. <laughs> and it's that that like, child support oh check. Yeah, and yeah. I realized that later on in life. So I was just like, oh, okay. Like, that was hard thinking. <laughs> like, if you used to climb and be like, who got a dad? Like, who's dad come to school in a suit? <laughs> oh, my dad was in the military. Who dad came up here in this raggedy ass army? Uniform? You know what's so yeah. funny? I would have, I mad. really would want something like that. But like, now, now I realize they was jealous. They, they did they, too. Yeah, exactly. I would want that. Exactly. Like, so. yeah, my father will bust a cap in your ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah. He ain't no my normal fighter. Yes, yeah. like, yes. fuck is you talking about? Yeah. They had no clue. <laughs> Try to fight that motherfucker if you want. <laughs> my father literally told us, like, beat their ass until somebody pull you off of them yes. and keep beating them so it take more my than mom's one person. South Bronx, so she had that theory, but my dad is from. Uh, Long Island, so he would just be like, he's really the peaceful one. Yeah, but Long he used Island to be is like wild. that. So yeah. they had balance. You know, so he's my, he's from Flint. Yeah, I'm from yeah. Flint. He's Michigan. not even from out here. 
Oh yeah, that's right. You yeah, were saying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where I'm from. He's not far from Detroit, right? No, it's about about forty five minutes, fifty minutes north. Yeah, yeah he's from Detroit. Detroit. Good out there. But I lived in they Detroit do some too. Good ass nails and hair. And nails, at it's midnight. that midnight. It's hard hours. It's, yeah, it's yes. gangsta as fuck out there. Facts. Yeah, that's what mom of Brooklyn. Yeah, it's a good place to be from. Shout out to the mid. But anyway, fuck all that. Okay, so so with the abusive relationship, I I had an abusive relationship. It wasn't as much abuse. Mm-hmm. As like physical, it was more like emotionally. But that I was, emotional, I, it was like, and mentally yeah. is worse than physical. Yeah, I, I got a lot of emotional abuse. How, like, yeah. How did you get over it? It took me two years to get over something like that. Honestly, Honestly. yeah. Well, okay. <sighs> when I did marriage boot camp last year, a lot of people thought just because it aired this year, twenty nineteen, they thought that it was like airing in live. real time. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, no, we've been filmed that, and we've been not fucking with each other. Yeah. But just being in that house, it's almost like they take you in the middle of nowhere. You don't have no phone, no yeah, TV, I didn't get to no see radio. It. It, it it was an experience because everybody thought it was going to be like because they had it was the love and what well, was a hip hop edition, so it was like everybody from Love and Hip Hop they mm-hmm. brought us there. So you would think that oh it's going to be lit, we're going to be partying, and then they going to just like you know teach us how to coexist yeah. and stuff like that. But it wasn't like that. You're in a house in the middle of nowhere. Your phone doesn't work. Mm-hmm. They have Wi Fi that's close to the kitchen, and you have to log on. You don't know if they tap your phone. You walking around. Everything is a TV, a mm-hmm. microphone. It's like you're constantly under surveillance. Under surveillance. Yeah. No, like no contact. So when I I would speak to because you're in California, and that's three hours behind. So by the time we're done filming for the day, my kids are asleep. Yeah. So it's just like they break you down. But we had to go out there early. Mm-hmm. And so you're in a hotel. They take you. You don't know where you're going. And so you're like, oh, I could do this. But they take your room key. You don't know, like, what's going where on. Where you at? You and then they'll nothing. just knock on your room door and say, hey, come with us. And then you'll go in another room. They'll just start asking you questions. It's like the weirdest feeling. But it's, it's breaking you down uh-huh. because they said, listen, if you open up to us or lean in, then you can give us all of you. And we'll be able to fix or repair what's broken, mm-hmm. which they are really certified medical. Like, they're doctors. Not the kind that you can get a shot from, but they can give you mental health I think diagnosis. that's a very important point for you to make because a lot of people that did watch that show or that watch those sort of um, shows that are based in, in those sort of um, therapy-based environments, yeah. they kind of question the credibility of the work that's being done. So, yeah. And a lot of people, yeah. especially people of our color niggas and, you and, can say yeah. it yeah <laughs> niggas and and yeah. artists because you know like you just like well i don't want people to know this side of me yeah they but, got me they got like my judge ordered me to go to a psych evaluation i'd be hating to go there because i don't want to talk to these motherfuckers you know it's because i was evaluated <laughs> after, after you have a baby they evaluate you and i lied on my test because i was just like yo i knew that th- there was things that are emotionally wrong like even when i was pregnant like nick he was busting out he busted out my windows i was eight months pregnant he kicked me out the car and I only had on a like kick me out. Would the you house ever go public with a relationship again? No, because I feel like Everything is totally I don't, I don't, now. I don't even know who that is. Like you understand? Like I don't, I never knew him. Do you feel like he started feeling himself off a of year? See, I've known him for years, so I, I never knew that side of him. So once I got into that, and as a wife, my thing was you are supposed to be the protector and the provider, but why am I protecting and providing? Mm-hmm. So like when stuff would come up in the blogs and stuff and people would, I know everybody that runs all the blogs so they would send me stuff and be like can we run with this like look what's coming mm-hmm. and I'd be like yo this is cap these bitches is lying da, 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 da. but I'm like wait that's his real phone number and I'd be like look what this happened he'd be yeah. like, no, I don't even know who that is I'd be letting niggas use my phone nigga you over 30 you still like what is you doing bro? things just weren't I, adding I like, up and, and it'd be, it be, it be, so, it be, so, be so odd to me too because I look at you and I'd be like yo like fire like you feel me so what the fuck you know my what? nigga like what's going never, on like what's wrong but to me as a person when somebody is telling you that you're nothing and, and mentally you're breaking like, you down breaking you down especially someone that but you're in a relationship with like trauma, that like somebody telling man you ain't had no songs out nobody don't fuck with you if niggas fuck with you da, 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 da. and I was just like well I've never had sex with none of these niggas so I would think I told, I was told don't fuck these niggas and they'll, mm-hmm. they'll respect you but really people didn't want to fuck with me because they was just like my situation was raggedy nobody wants to attach their brand to something that's always in the blogs for, for jankiness and, and didn't you think like I feel like wow, with my situation yeah. because of a guy always sitting here like putting me down at first I would thought like the person that I love and that loves me he's yeah. not gonna just be saying this just to say this to hurt me yeah. so after a while I started believing what he was saying yeah. it's like mentally fucking me because it's like I'm thinking like this guy loves me like you understand yeah. like he's showing me that he loves me at times so why would a person that love you 
purposely hurt you. Like, obviously yeah. what he's saying is most likely right. And then I had to, like, grow to learn, like, nah, this motherfucker is just... It's a weirdo. It's, it's just trying to fuck me over. Or his mama couldn't cook. You know, niggas whose he, mama can't cook be or, mean or, as fuck. Or, they be or have mommy issues. They be That's mad. what it is. They have these, mommy issues. I love my sons. I have three sons that I mm-hmm. gave birth to, but and I love them, but I'm not their girlfriend. And I'm not their... I, I'm friendly to them, but a lot of these moms, Mothers is their girlfriends. They be oh thinking that, oh, this is my baby, and oh, he can't do no wrong. My son be doing wrong. That's I'm why. Mm-hmm. I, that's why I don't get attached not, with these niggas because yeah. I might have to fuck your mother up. You feel yeah. me? Like, I ain't playing no motherfucking game with bitch. you like, or your mom. Or your mother, my nigga. I will fuck I'm a her daddy's up. girl, but it's not to the point where it's just like, like you be thinking that we was in some. These niggas' moms Listen, be loving them like niggas this, they be man. always asking yeah. me to meet their mother, and I always tell them no. Why? Because I'm gonna beat that bitch the fuck up if she say something crazy. To me. And if I beat her the fuck up, I'm going to get my mother, and my mother gonna fuck her up too. Yeah. And guess what? When she fuck up, I'm jumping in. Facts. Fuck you talk about, yeah. bitch. That's, that's how so I no. with my kids. But I let them live their life. But it was just like the relationship. <laughs> I, like, I saw the signs in the beginning. But I was just like, you know me. You were too in love? It wasn't even love. I'm, I am I come from a healing, nurturing environment. Like, if you meet my parents, they like cool as shit. Yeah. And everybody that meets my family, like, I done had them around everybody. They was like, yo, like, you have a real family from Lil Wayne to 50 Cent to Fabulous to everybody that meets my mom. And everybody has met my parents. They was like, yeah, like you, talk, you talk really yeah. spiritual. Like, really Yeah, my really dad is a preacher. My dad's a bishop. My oh. mom's an evangelist. But I converted to Islam, so we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but it was just like, people was even getting on me talking about, oh, you changed from, you switched up on Jesus for some dick. Like, I was just what? like, what? Like, people, but they was coming at me. So and they don't like, believe Allah is, like. They, but people was just, like, they was just, like, on some. My mom is Muslim. And But people don't understand that God is God no matter. Yeah. yeah. Believe it's yeah. just like, yo, at the end of the day, it was just like, all I know is church, school, and, and my mom and dad. So once I got out here in the world, I was, like, I really didn't know how to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I thought I was supposed to get married, have kids, and everything would work out fine. Mur- that was my third merge. Yeah, Mur- so yeah. it was three down the drain. Yeah. Yeah. But this last one, like, my first Because that's how you grew up. Looking at yeah, your mom. just thinking like, mm-hmm. but I never seen, I never heard my mom curse, never heard my dad curse, never seen my da- my mom cry. I seen her cry in church or one time my dad and mom. Wait, used so you to play, never heard them curse? Never heard them curse. Never wow. saw them fight. I've never seen my. I remember one time my mom packed up my dad's stuff when we lived in Texas because my dad is ex military. Mm-hmm. So but she were, never, okay. she never was like, get the fuck out. Like mm-hmm. she never did it in front. She packed the stuff and put it by the door. And he was just <laughs> like, nah, I'm not, I'm not le- losing my family over nothing. He was hanging out. You know what I'm saying? He, uh-huh. he was away from family and so. She didn't realize that the separation, separation anxiety is real. Yeah. Because we grew up in New York all our life. So when our family had to move Texas, Atlanta, North Carolina, Maryland, Mm -hmm. everywhere, it was just like, yo, like you start missing. Yeah, Yeah, it was a lot. And so he started missing his family. And and, and we we call it in church. He fell away. So he started (laughs) drinking and doing things. And my mom was like, I'm not having that. I'm not bringing that around my children. But she never was. I never seen her. in It wasn't confrontational. I never seen. I'm going to tell you some real shit. I never seen my dad hit my mom. And I never seen my dad spit on my mother. My kids seen that happen to me. And that's 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 why why I was like, level up. A situation like that happened I when my ex put his hands on me, yeah. that first time I left because I felt like I never ever seen my father hit my mom's. Yeah. And my mom's the way I curse knew how I'm my yeah. mom's is ratchet. You know what I mean? My mom's is lit. Mm-hmm. Like you feel know I me? Mean? She be with the shits. I, I done see moms I like done seen my mom's punch mm-hmm. my pops in the face and him walk away. You feel me? So it's like, nah, like if my pops and mm-hmm. my pops is mad big. My pops is six five, where size eighteen in sneakers. Dang. My pops is a big dude. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? I done see my pops knock niggas out, but he never ever touched my mom. And I I always wow. felt like I would never be with a nigga who hits me because That's why I didn't see my I mom I didn't understand go why this. I accepted that because I never saw that. But I was like, well, this is a different time period and a lot of men go through things, so this must be what I had to accept. And I allowed it. And then once it got to the point, I'm going to tell you, when we came back from Plus, that was your husband. Care. It's a difference. Yeah. When you put that title on there, it's like you try to But then everybody stay. kept saying, Mo, yeah. don't say nothing. And I'm just like, what do you mean don't say nothing? But my daughter went, I remember she chased me out the house today. She was like, mommy, no. Because I was like, I'm going to kill this nigga. How old is she? She's 14. And how old was she then? She was thir- 13. Okay. So it was, it was, it, it literally it was, was a year, year mm-hmm. August 29th. Like I have the, I taped it on my phone because when I had to go get my PFA, which is a protection from abuse mm. in Philadelphia, in the court of uh common, what is it? The common police court, whatever it is, the family court. Mm-hmm. When I had to go in there and mm-hmm. everybody was like, little Mo here. Like I was like, but they 
took me through the back because it was just like it was causing too much attention. It was embarrassing because everybody was like, "We just saw you on the show, yeah. so what, like, why are you here?" They didn't know that that show airs from a whole yeah, year ago. Feel, yeah, mm-hmm. so it's so, just like it, it seemed like you know it just. What do you think, though, about... So you mentioned how your, your relationship that you saw, or the example that you saw, I should yeah. say, between your mother and father, you didn't see, like, a confrontational, combative environment. At all. You know, you didn't see anything like that. Yeah. So do you think um, that that was a help, or do you think it was a hindrance when it came to you having real-life experiences that were opposite of that in your personal love life? I never wanted to, like... I always wanted to find a relationship like my parents yeah but i was just like nobody's like my nobody is gonna be like that yeah because like they balance each other out and then my, they was raising a different type a of different type of generation era. because yeah. what was crazy is the way they stuck together but my mom's dad passed when she was nine so my grandma they grew up in the andrew jackson projects in the bronx Damn. so my mother done fought everybody in mm-hmm. them projects but to, for her to be a school teacher and her humility now and she's so nurturing and calm mm-hmm. and don't yeah, curse and just mm-hmm. like that but mm-hmm. she be lit like mess with one of her kids mm-hmm. she gonna come out her body but she's not gonna curse and I'm like how do you she was like you just change your rhetoric and I'm like well, mom, you <laughs> like that's what, so my dad told him yo help my daughter change your rhetoric, your rhetoric. <laughs> and my dad coming from Long Island my grandfather was one of the biggest pastors in Central Life Slip so he ran the streets real heavy because he came from church but it's the pastors kids mm-hmm. we always was the worst one and Honestly, once I got it from always is that, like that. I was lit. I was yeah. like, I got on drugs real bad. It was so much stuff going on. I was like, well, this is what y'all kept me from all of this sin and fun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fun, but real, I, I didn't realize until I looked at some pictures of myself and my daughters didn't want to be around me. I was like, ew, this is disgusting. I was looking crazy. So I had to pull myself away. And it didn't take me long because I still had enough uh, heart and compassion and empathy. And mm-hmm. something inside of me was just like... I know why I'm here. Mm-hmm. But there was a time, like, literally, when was that? In May, I wanted to die. Like, I had to lock myself in my mother's basement and detox and throw up and, and get rid of all the drugs that was in my system. Like, one thing is, I don't smoke or drink. Like, I never smoked or drink in my life. Are you serious? In my life. Because my mom was a bad alcoholic when I was young. So yeah. I just always, like, stayed away from that. And I just felt like the smoking just didn't look cute on girls. So everybody who doesn't know me think that I be lit because I be dr- I know. I never even drank a wine cooler, no champagne, no anything. Like, I never had alcohol, never popped no pills, never did nothing. I used to swear. So, (laughs) so when I went through that situation, it was so hard because I couldn't turn to nothing. I didn't have no stress relief. Yeah, Yeah. like, I just had to deal with crying myself to sleep and scamming. But you know what's crazy? I just had to get that bag and level the fuck up. (laughs) Wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't have See, nothing. Me, like, and mind you, when wow. I left him, he stole all my bread. And I was so ashamed to go home because my parents are so West Indian. And I know they would have came with the I told you so, I told you so, that I slept out of my car for two months and just was living off of $40 until I got back on the grind of scamming. Yeah, I, I didn't have nothing. So I went from getting left, getting hit, getting stolen from by a nigga that I was with, you feel me? To me living in my car for two months, and that's how I had to cope in my car. I used to have to park on little streets in Brooklyn that you know, little dead ends that niggas can't come and break in and sleep in the back of my car and sneak into my mother's house and shower or go to my homegirl's house and shower. But I was living out my car for two months after even going through something like that. So it's just, it was so hard for me because it's like, I don't even have nothing to turn to. I don't even, I can't even drink. I can't, first of all, I don't got no money. I don't got no money to drink. Like, you know what I mean? I got forty dollars wow. to my nigga, and the nigga stole one hundred and fifty thousand dollars from me. Like, listen, imagine all the deposits going to somebody's account, and this whole time, and you thinking like, "Well, where the money going?" And the nigga paying a bitch bills with it. Wow, mo. I'm up here singing my heart out, and I'm like, "Yo, this bitch is on the internet, acting like she's your whole wife, talking crazy. I don't know who that bitch is, but this." And the whole day, time you whole fucking time sending her money. Saying, oh, I need to um go get. Pay for help my mother pay for closing costs, and I pay for closing costs because I I got homes, and I was just like, I ain't never heard no closing costs cost twenty five hundred dollars, but <laughs> yeah. paying a bitch whole bill. <laughs> It's crazy. But uh. this bitch suck niggas, everybody's dick in the back of the van. I was like, this is what, well, let me tell you something about me. 
I'm not one of the person like, please don't leave me. Like on the color purple, I'd be like, listen, <laughs> we can fuck these bitches together, or you can go and please leave me alone because I don't want bacteria vaginosis. I don't want you to none of that. I shit. don't even want them spirits around Man, me. Yeah, I don't but want at none the of that shit. Day, t- like go, but I was like, don't go with that bitch. That's not that's not the one. Just all your niggas, anybody with like like homie like, to homie shit, yeah, not I'm just that like, one. My nigga, that's not the one. Like she clout chase real heavy, and. People like people would say, I saw them his face all scratched up. I saw the bitch in the store with black eyes. I'm just like, she wanted him so bad. Now I'm you got peace. him. Happy. When I say I'm at peace, bitch, I'm sitting the Indian style at this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Kids are happy. I'm happy. I made it out alive because that nigga told me I will blow your fucking head off and I'll kill your dad. And that's when I ran out the house at ten o'clock in the morning. He he Wu was right there. I said, Can you please help me? He couldn't even he was on house arrest. That's crazy. I'm this so the sorry. Only I'm that so sorry me. that happened to you. I'm sorry. Facts. But, but I tell yeah. people all the time, like, like I was telling my sister and I was telling like a few other girls, it's okay to break down. Just get back up. Like you feel me? I feel like so much people be like scared to break down. I'm so like I feel like certain people that I know, you need to break down. Yeah. That's the only way you're gonna build back up. And break you feel through. me? That's Shit. the only way. Because yeah. you're you gonna have no other choice but to build up. It builds your character. And it's a damn shame that, that you have to learn certain lessons that way. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately that's just At the first way I was it works. Like, oh, I'm gonna be embarrassed. I don't want nobody to see. But then I thought about You know all how the much stuff? women is going through mm-hmm. what you go through. You know through? how many people my following People like your transparency and just, and I was just like, I would have never known that. But so you know how many people, people I used to curse out? It. Be like, bitch, don't ever talk about my husband like that, bitch. I, like, I was, in, I was on South Street. This is when I had the wake-up call. Mm-hmm. I was on South Street, and there was this girl. She kept on coming. She used to be on my lives and my DMs. Oh, yeah, nigga got me pregnant, this and that. And she was there with her man. She was like, well, I'll fuck you and your bitch up. I said, bitch, I'll blow your fucking head off. And I meant that. And I said, once I started getting like that with people that regular people, I was yeah, like, exactly. I got to go. Exactly. I got to go. Mm-hmm. And that's when I said, I got to get out these streets. And, and the only person that told me how crazy I looked was, well, he was just mm-hmm. like, like, you look the fuck crazy. You look like y'all, no disrespect, got rest in peace, Whitney, but y'all look like Bobby and Whitney out this bitch. And, and I was like, are you serious? How long, how long you knew him? Years, right? 20 years. 20 years. Yep. That's good. That's yeah. great. But he came home and it was just like, I'm thinking like, oh, you just kept it. He was like, nah, you think this stuff don't ring in the jails and on the streets? He was just like, yo, like, you look Listen, the fuck crazy. Listen, trust me, shit go on in the jails and I, before I never it hit the knew. street. Yeah. I never we knew. know shit fast, baby. Like, how do y'all be finding listen, out? I don't know, but we know it. <laughs> listen, we know every. Thing. Like, like you think I don't We're know what's in tune, going on? bro. We be more in tune than what's... My homeboys be still letting me know shit that's going on. I be like, damn, I didn't even that's know. Cr- Let me yep. get a few people and find out the mix. Like, yeah. yes, they fucking know. But sometimes it takes a person that genuinely loves you from back in the day. You feel yeah. me? That doesn't... You don't owe nothing to and They don't owe you nothing. They're yeah. not just doing it for something mm-hmm. that makes you open your eyes because it's like, what the fuck does he need you for? Like, yeah. you understand? Know like... That's how, that's how it be. But what we got to do is tell you the truth. People be, and I, I became such a recluse. I already have trust issues as is. And I be like, oh, mm-hmm. this mother. But people was like, oh, don't trust this person. I said, the main one that they said don't trust is the only one that came to my rescue. And I would be like, I can attest it. My glow up. Mm-hmm. Like, people swear I went to Dominican. They was like, I, bitch, you went overseas. You got your body done. I said, no, I didn't. I'm scared because I tried to get my body done one time in 2005, right mm-hmm. before I went on tour. And I almost died. I was in the hospital for five days. I had to get a tube up my nose because I had a bowel blockage from an uh, ileus that blocked where they tried to do the damn liposuction. Lipo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I almost, like, literally died. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you my spot. Well, I can't tell it on this because you know these bitches is nosy, and I don't oh, try to. Trying. I don't try to help these hoes because these hoes is unappreciative. Facts. That's right, so why I can't tell them where to get edges from. I can't tell them where to get anything from. I can't tell them where to get lip. I can't tell them where to get lip gloss from for their crusty lips because they are un- they just ungrateful. They don't deserve. That shit, they don't no deserve way. shit from me. But see, if you like, if you tell me like, bitch, you get, I be like, thank you. Like I right. love. And maybe I'm from that generation where we're appreciative. This generation, I told my daughters, y'all are not allowed to be ungrateful. Grateful or just like not accept, you know, like shit could get real at any moment mm-hmm. because yep. I've been through a lot and it, you never know what can happen. But you have to be suited up, guarded up. Y'all got to be soldiers out here. And I love 
the the way that my life is going now. This is the life I've always wanted. And I never thought I'd be so much at peace by myself. I think you can also find comfort in the fact that you're teaching your daughters, especially yeah. a huge lesson in resiliency, right? Because yeah. they've seen, like, like you just said, they were witnessed firsthand certain abusive moments and things yeah. that I'm sure you didn't want them to see. But they also saw you continue moving strength. forward. Yeah, yeah exactly. And they Star. see by yourself. They like, see I that always, shit. I always tell people all the time that the reason why I never wanted, like I had two abortions and I always felt like because those wasn't going to work out and I always mm-hmm. felt like my mom and my dad is together and that's what I want. I mm-hmm. feel like I never grew up in a single parent house so I wouldn't yeah. even know how to, that's not what you look at. That's not what you yeah. look for. You don't find the strength in that because it's like, who could I go to? I can't yeah. even call my mom or be like, you know what, my mother did it so I could do it. I yeah. never was raised like that so yep. I feel like you only grow up to how you see so it's like your kids seeing that you was able to get out that situation, you yeah. strong, you not moping around, you know, like yeah. you not your glow is still here. It's like, nah, like that's going to make them see like, nah, I could go through that shit too. Like my mother went through this and she yeah. got over it. So and I could I, I told my daughters, y'all are not allowed to accept what I did. Yeah. Y'all not. I did that shit. I think I was rebellious mm-hmm. because I was just like, oh, I can handle this. And I was like, whoa, like this don't feel right. This ain't right. I'd have been to counseling. And then what I noticed once I started turning the drugs to like, I used to have to wake up and take like a perk 30 of Adderall. Like, I was taking so much stuff just to start my day. And mm-hmm. a perk 30 is a fucking lot. And, you know, well, I had C-section, so it was easy to me. But the amount of, it, not even that, damn all that, like, the amount of money that it cost. There you go. <laughs> so you could get there a script, go. and then when you run out the script, then you got to buy it on the street. There and, you go. And it's a drought. Mm-hmm. So then you got to. Yep, it's but real. Because I, I, I was looking at people, and I was like, damn, they went from perks to heroin. And I'm it between just get- Baltimore and Philly, and I was like. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do no dope. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, I was locked up. I was all close. I was locked up with some Baltimore girls. They oh my was scratching all while. God, they, yeah. It's oh sad. my God, those you could walk and it's like no disrespect, bro, but you could walk in the jail and could tell. Baltimore, Baltimore, yeah. Baltimore. Baltimore. Mm-hmm. You could tell because I don't know, but for some reason, everybody they don't have no. Um, I think they don't have no jail out there in Baltimore, or no, they don't they have just no jail have in DC. Is- Right, yeah. so so they ha- all the DC girls and stuff like they have to come near, yeah. and it's like you could go in there and you could tell, you could yeah. really tell who's from there, and it's like damn, like they and it's not just because we say two and you, yeah. but no. it's, it's just a Baltimore look, and I feel so it's a bad. it's a look like it and is. they look bad in there, like and they look horrible, like they really look homeless still, like yeah. you know, hair all crazy and it's wild, a lot of people like there that they are fighting for and their drugs, lives. yeah, they're on drugs bad. And the thing is, to me, I don't understand if they get checked out. I don't understand early. if you on drugs or you prostituting. Why they got you in here, like, as a federal crime? Like, you understand? Yeah. Make that shit some state shit for the yeah. D.C. people and everything. Make that shit some state you shit. You already know because that's a money they, grab. Because you know what that's that a is. federal place, they automatically, you could pickpocket. Yeah. Pickpocket, which is a fucking regular state crime, now it's federal. Yeah. Because yeah. it's from D.C. That shit is the worst oh, system yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. I feel like that is stupid. Girls was in there for prostitution. Girls was in there for pickpocketing, robbing a bag, little stuff. You know how much pussy is sold case? in D.C.? The nation's capital where all the politicians are <laughs> yes them the ugly niggas has Yo, gotta buy that that yes. that is like that's pussy selling central pussy so selling if you're looking central. for a region a if you want to have a regional now, conference and now is a you know federal what I'm saying? fucking crime that's where you well, need to be well I wanted to shout out all the countries that's listening to the show we have the UK oh shit Canada London oh, London shit. Canada shout out to the oh, six wow. Russia we don't want no trouble <laughs> we don't want no G- shit. Germany. <laughs> I know. Guten Tag. Yeah. <laughs> Jamaica. Yeah, you done man. know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Barbados. It's yeah. just to oh. name a few. Oh, wow. That's also, lit. want to shout out the Bronx, you know, and Brooklyn for being the top cities to listen to the show. It's lit. Yes. And also, want to shout out Atlanta, Chicago. Philly <laughs> and Boston. <laughs> I told you how I feel about the box. I told you what they did to me. They did you, broke did me you get down. any food down there out there though? They have no, some great Okay, food. listen. So I got out the box. Oh. And they let me go after my five months. And I had to get to halfway house. I had three hours. I didn't even know if my mom was going to pick me up on the other side of the Greyhound because I wasn't allowed to get a phone call. I didn't have no money. And everybody down there in Philly, I know y'all bitches' phones was on that I was asking y'all, <laughs> you feel me, if I could use y'all phone? And all y'all hoes <laughs> who told me that y'all phone was dead and it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon could suck my dick. And we hope your screen <laughs> crack, I, bitch. Yes, I hope your screen crack and I hope your hair fall out. <laughs> <Yeah>. that's <laughs> On that up. side. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. 
So I had to get on a Greyhound. And when I got off the Greyhound, like, my pussy dropped. You feel me? I seen all my family there. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, you got to realize, this is five months of me in a box. They fucking blocked out my window. I didn't see or even know any, like, I didn't see people. All like, I did was hear people. what kept you from going crazy? Like, I can't, if. Okay, so, listen. You, like, I I'll didn't, go crazy. I didn't, I didn't notice. I didn't notice I was, like off until I came home you know and like in my first episode I talked about me standing like sitting at the window mm -hmm. and my mom would keep FaceTiming me while I'm in halfway house so she face I remember I just got out so she keep wanting to look at me and stuff like that so yeah. she's FaceTiming me and she's like what you doing I'm like oh nothing I'm outside I'm just looking out the window and I'm just sitting there smiling yo, and not crazy not realizing I'm just so happy to see people yo that's what he said I was like yo you stand out the window you look crazy he was like I'm yo so do you happy understand? to see people because in the box I couldn't see nobody because on top of that they blocked out my my, my window so I couldn't even I didn't even know what time it was or what time of the day but uh, I only knew by what when they would bring food trays that's the only time that is so cruel, like you know yo. you know like that's the only time that's I would know so when I went home and I realized like wait a minute hold on like I'm happy just to see people. Like, I used to really just be sitting at the window and being able to hear people, connecting the voices to the faces. Like, I used to be inside the cell like, oh, that person sound Chinese. Oh, that person sound black. Just, like, not realizing that I'm going fucking crazy. Not realizing it until I got home. And also, they used to spit in my food. So I never are ate. You, like, are you kidding me I right never now? ate when I was in a the box. They did some, you know how it is in there. They do some grimy shit. So I was only eating bananas and, um, and oranges when I was in Philly box. So when I got home, I wasn't, I was so not not used to eating that I didn't even eat until the next day I forgot that I could eat I forgot like bitch you're allowed to eat you're allowed to call and eat something like I wasn't even hungry I was shaking like the whole time I'm in the sprinter coming back from Philly going to um the Bronx to the halfway house I got my sister you know trying to fix my hair my mom taking off my clothes getting rid of that clothes putting other clothes so the whole time I'm just sitting there shaking everybody's passing phones to me mm -hmm. I got this phone that phone that phone I'm home yeah I'm home happy da, 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 da. you know but I'm still shaking. I'm just like anxiety. Like, oh my God, like I'm really out because wow. they didn't tell me I was coming home until the night before making me little, like do my little fingerprint. The whole time they kept saying like, yeah, you ain't leaving. You ain't leaving. You ain't going to halfway house. We denied you. We denied you. They never let me know. So I never knew that I was even going. So then it's like, even when I got there, I'm like, damn, what am I going to do to get to halfway house? Like I kept thinking about that. Like when I get out the Greyhound, what am I going to do? Oh man, I'm gonna have to suck some dick. Cause I'm getting wow. I'm getting the halfway house. <laughs> I don't got no money on me, but I'm gonna get there because <laughs> I ain't going back to jail. For and you real. only get like two hours to get there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get there, but it just so happened, I guess they must have caught my mom and let her know, but okay. didn't want to tell me that, you know? So they caught my mom and let her know. And I guess my mom is some miracle worker. In a day she had a sprinter. All my yes, family mom. there. My sister was That's up. some stuff my mom would my do. My sister lived yeah. in North Carolina. She was there. She wow. flew up overnight. Like, you feel me? My sisters was there. All my nephews wasn't in school. I'm thinking to myself, what day is it? How the hell y'all here? Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, y'all yeah. not in school? It was just so mind-blowing. Like, I just really didn't realize that it mind-fucks you. It, I didn't realize until coming home just being excited for little things. Yo, I used, like, I'm serious. Like, little when things. When he first came, he, yes. he would be leaving. First of I'd be all, like, yo, where's you first at? Of because all, we gotta I go. was scared to first, like, when I first started driving, I was driving funny because I was so used to not driving no more. Wow. I only was gone for 10 months. I had, I had a, yes, sir. I had fifth. I had a fifteen month sentence. I had. T I did ten months in, three months halfway house. Right. Okay. Out of fifteen months, you do thirteen because it's the good time and shit like that. Okay. Bro, I couldn't even work a phone. Like I was trying to figure out how to work my iPhone again. I'm like, how? Do you? Can you imagine the people who's gone for five years, ten years, fifteen years? How the fuck am I feel? I only did ten months, wow. and I can't even work my phone. That's I'm, why I'm, I'm glad for two things, though. I'm glad number one, this conversation has started around like post release rehabilitation. Yes. There's so many people like Meek Mill and, and Jay Z, the efforts that they have, you know, working towards that. And number two, I'm glad that your ass has this pla this podcast because yes. you can talk to people who have that same experience and just at least let them know you know what I'm saying they're not alone and somebody else was going through that shit yeah, kind of like, help them it's the craziest that's experience dangerous. even when it comes to like remember like I said visits the visiting floor for a guy is packed the visiting floor for a female is crickets why? because females are the most loyalist creatures females wow. are more loyal than guys at the end of the day Got girls is gonna bend over backwards to go see their family members, to go yep. see their niggas, to go see their baby fathers. Even if they got a nigga on the street, they gonna come up there to go see another nigga. Like you understand? Yeah. When you get locked up, who there for you as a female? Most of the time, females is locked up for taking a charge because of their nigga, for getting money with a nigga, yeah. or for a nigga writing them out. 
I know so many females that held it down that's in jail and they baby fathers ratted on them or they niggas Are you ratted. I, I'm seeing these bitches paperwork. You feel me? I'm, they oh went to trial. God. And they, that person who went to testify them is they fucking baby fathers. This It'd is the crazy. most, like, literally, when I, I was in Philly for three years, mm -hmm. the most I had ever seen jail was my brother getting locked up, and I remember going to see him. He was in Anne Arundel County. He had stole a bike, because mm -hmm. they don't play that out there. And I was like, well, how much do I, I, I literally went there and said, can I go see my brother? They had him behind this glass, and I said, he stole a bike. Like, y'all got him back there. Can I pay, how much I got to pay to get him out? Yeah. They was like, just relax. He'll be out. He's just only here for the weekend. But then he wound up having to do 30 days because some child support stuff come. Mm -hmm. I was like, y'all got my brother in here like I was really like just let him out so yeah. 30 that was days the most, baby but I was just like I was going crazy he'll be alright I was going crazy for him cause I was like he, I was, he has anxiety 30 days <laughs> But then, but then when like when he was saying, I was forgetting. I was like, you came on. I was like, you don't act jailly to me. Like I always thought you people probably, were supposed you, to. You act. probably didn't realize. I didn't the realize things. it too. He Listen. was just like, yo, Mo, I gotta go outside. I was like, we need to be in the studio. Da -da -da -da. No, he was like, no, no, I gotta go out. I gotta see. Listen, I got so. I got so I listen. Realize. I got so institutionalized. Little shirts instead of me sitting here sending it off, I was washing it in the sink and Are using the um, the faucet tying it around. And squeezing it out and hanging it up like we do in jail, bro. And didn't even Damn. realize I was doing that because it's like, nah, I need this shirt tomorrow. I don't got time to drop this off at the dry, dry cleaners or wash it. I don't got time for that. I'm going to do this shit right here. You feel me? It's going to dry overnight and I'm going to use the iron. Well, a iron. useful skill is a useful skill. I don't give a damn where you learn this shit. If but it's, it's working but, yeah, in, but it's in so, that moment, It's like it. I don't even want to <laughs> do stuff that's like that and you don't realize that you're doing it. Like, you understand? You really don't realize that you're doing stuff that... You was learning in there. That's actually a good idea. Though. I feel like we should shoot a little YouTube video <laughs> real quick. Like, it's how to give your shirt a whole bag. Like, you know I was, <laughs> I was really, you know what I'm talking about using the faucet. So the thing is, I don't know how it is. Remember, the state still has microwaves. They took away all the microwaves and all the FDCs. So we only had that hundred and nine hot water. So you cooked everything through the bag. Listen, Wait, what? listen. So listen, you get a, you get a plastic. Listen. You get it? What's so FDC? That's Frederick Douglass Curls. No, FDC is federal FDC? detention right. center. So every federal detention center is just basically where you go to fight your case. You're yeah. not sentenced there. Like you know they so don't it's put, like a yeah, so it's, it's like purgatory. It's a holding place. It's yeah. like a Rikers Island. Okay. They hold you there what? until you <laughs> until you beat your case or you um get sentenced and then they ship you to where you really have to go. Since when I was in Danbury and I got into the situation there, FDC Philly was the closest shoe. So they sent me to there so that I could do my box time, my shoe <sighs> time. But that's what you do. So you steal some plastic bags, especially the ones that go in the garbage, just the little plastic bags, and you tie up one part. Oh you get God. listen, they get a cooler or a bucket, your garbage can, you go to the hot water, you fill that shit up, uh -huh. and you gotta make sure you you first, second, or third in line because after that fifth person, that shit get cold. Okay. And now you gotta wait 30 minutes for that shit to heat back up. So bitches is fighting for that hot water. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Listen, I was flirting with the guards for the hot water. Like, yeah. let's open myself first. Open my fucking cell first. And I mind you, I was only in FDC general population for two weeks. I was in the box. They, for four months, they let me out for two weeks. I got into another situation, and they threw me back in the box. So I did my another month in there. So that's like my little five months that I did in the box. Oh but basically, God. you have to, you know, your chicken pack, you open it up, season it up in a bowl, do all that other good shit. You you steal out the mess hall, green peppers and onions. That's a chi chi? No. You use, you, you use whatever you can. You get the sazon, the goya, you salt, pepper, all that. You get the, um, you know, the little green peppers and the onions. You pay. Sometimes if you don't work in a mess hall, you pay the bitches for a dollar and you can get three of them. You feel me? And for the niggas that's in Philly, we this is how we used to get money. This is how the, this is how the bitches get money. They send that shit on a cart. You feel me? Right up to, because the bitches, we cook the food. The bitches cook the food. So okay. you send that shit on the cart for the nigga that you talk through through the, the hole. You feel Wait, me? So this, how do you know listen, who you're talking to? Like this shit. Like no, Craggle no. Rock. This you don't you don't know. You don't know. Listen, but you fall they in love. tell you niggas some bitches. Y'all niggas listen, is geniuses. Some bitches fall in love. Some bitches is married. My nigga, a pastor comes and marries them on the toilet bowl. Are you like, serious? Yes. Yes. Get yes. Listen, listen, though. listen, and they get real crazy. I done seen bitches fight for the bowl action, my nigga, because two, two cells share a line. So if both your niggas is on that same line and one is on the sixth floor and one is on the fifth, they could be interrupting your conversation. So y'all have to work out the schedule like listen at this time you're gonna be here and at this time i'm gonna be here but you know what since you want to fuck with me bitch i'm gonna flush that shit and keep flushing them out flushing them out flushing them and then out you can't hear nothing nope 
you flush them out so that now, say if I'm in one cell and I'm talking to him, <laughs> yeah. and you in one cell and you talking to him, yeah. and I don't want you talking to him because I'm talking, I'm going to keep flushing it, and y'all ain't going to be able to have a conversation because all you're going to keep hearing is that flush because we're on the same line, boo-boo. Move your cell, bitch. Yo. <laughs> Move your cell, bitch. That's, a, that's what the bitch said. Move your fucking cell, bitch. You got to talk when the day room is out. Yeah. Don't nobody be in the boat. Yes, because the, the, during the yeah. day, nobody be on the boat because everybody's out, you feel me, outside and shit like that. But nighttime, niggas be on the boat till like 12, yeah. 2 in the right. morning, bro. So like, how do you find... know when to talk? Do you be like, hey? Like you you come and you just be like, hey, yo. <laughs> and they be like, John, hey. uh, Like everybody got their own call. Like I used to know certain people calls. They used to be like, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that's how niggas will know, like, oh, she calling for me, she calling for me. Like, they'll leave their ball open so you can hear it. You could be sitting on your bed. Just you listening could be sitting to on that your shit. bed and you can hear somebody be like, ooh, ooh. niggas be like, oh, brother, gotta get down. Oh, <laughs> gotta go over to the ball. <laughs> Yo, listen, I done heard, I had, okay, so I had a, um, I had a, I had a celly for two weeks, right? Yeah. Bro, my celly used to get right, bro. When I say sex talking, finger popping. <laughs> Seriously? Sex, yes, they have sex through the bowl, bro. She used to be like, yo, do you mind? I used to be like, nah. Then mind you, I just met her. <laughs> she from Philly, right? I just yo. met her. I just came out the box. I'm excited. I don't give a fuck what you do, bitch. You could fucking stick your finger in my butthole for right now. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm out the box, yeah. bitch. You feel me? I don't give a fuck what you do. Yes. Son, that bitch started getting crazy. I'm like... My pussy started getting wet. Like, what the fuck? She, what, she, what, she talking some freaky shit over here? Like, yo, when I say... It was and lit. They, bro, they know what the fuck they're doing. They know what they wow. doing, so they get in touch with niggas. Niggas are sitting, like, they picture down on the car. She'll be like, yo, send your picture down. So sometimes niggas will send your picture down. If a bitch is feeling him or if niggas don't got a picture, they'll still be sending stuff up. And niggas will be putting money on their books, you feel me? Or wow. sending drugs down and whatnot. Like, all right, you you give me fucking two green peppers, some onions, you feel me, some um tomatoes, and I'm going to send down this for you. And Damn. bitches will sit there and do what they got to do. Mm-hmm. And that's how you getting money. That's how you hustling in Philly, bro. You gotta, you gotta hustle. Yeah, so you just gotta really be on point, cause I would be like, yes. "What's going on? I'm so abusive. I'm just ready to go. <laughs> yeah, <my laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I'll thinking about like, all this bullshit. Cause that way they make it seem like right. I'm on it. I know everything. Like, That's listen, crazy. I could tell you the jail system from the fucking federal jail system to the back to the front. Listen, I know everything. I'm loopy. I wouldn't like, know how to survive. <laughs> I'd be like, yes. I would be going crazy. A lot of people don't know how to jail. I'm not a jail, you feel me? I'm not an inmate. I'm a convict. That's the difference. <laughs> I'm not an inmate. I'm a convict. Look up, look up the difference. Yes. But that's, like, that's how real it is. That's how real it is. Listen, when you go home, look up an inmate versus a convict. Okay. Yeah. You, you'll know the difference. Like, you feel me? An inmate is some bitches who's telling, who's, who's sitting here on the officer's side. No, bitch, I'm a convict. You feel me? Like... <laughs> It's a difference. Like, I'm not right. fucking with the officers. I'm not doing none of that. Like, you feel me? I'm no, But just bitch. survival like, mode, that joke kicked in like you lit. Like, listen. my whole, I just want you to know my whole family I loves you. Would, I wish I would have, because you would have had everything up there. You was right there. I don't know why you didn't reach out. That was right there. Yo, but, bro, I was, listen, I feel like be on the only two, like the little two weeks that I was in general population, I was lit. Listen, I was fucking lit. But that box, they didn't give a fuck about me. You feel me? They didn't give a fuck about me and they didn't like who the fuck I was associated with. And at that That's time, I didn't crazy. like I was associated with her either. Because I'm not eating because of uh, the fuck. Like, I'm not liking that I was associated. So, listen, let me tell y'all the, the crazy shit that happened. Damn. So, they said that hackers tried to break into the podcast page over the last few weeks. Yours? Just to sh- yes. So I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck you trying to scam a scammer, <laughs> Wait, <coughs> an ex-scammer. <laughs> the feds is listening. The ex-scammer. They do be listening. How, yes. How the, how the fuck y'all trying to scam me? Like, I didn't do this already. Like, they really tried to break into... The Instagram the, or something. No, shit? into SoundCloud oh, and, and the, hack oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, they really have been trying. Wow. And we also been getting a lot of email and, you know, asking for tips on scamming. And I have no tips. Yep, <laughs> that's behind me. <laughs> you feel me? My why tip is anybody, not. To, my tip is not. To, my tip is not to do it. Yeah, Thanks. honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. I really feel like it's the feds making up emails, writing yeah. on tips for scamming. You feel me? Yeah. Y'all got me once. Y'all not gonna get me again. Like I'm not about that life. No, Sorry. When I say that I don't trust nobody after seeing what. Like I literally sat in on a fed trial and I was just like, yo, they really. 
blend like somebody could be sitting here you be thinking they're your friend and they're a fan no or okay. like just to see people that are coming they'll bring them listen in. Like, one time be telling, one telling. time a person close to me right i'm not gonna even wow. say who it is a person close to me told me that one of his workers like um his he owns like a construction company right uh-huh. he said one of his workers was so drunk one night like so drunk and was telling him like yeah you know i work for the cops they pay me to give them information on who got guns on the block this day card, anytime cops pull me over, I show the card. He was so drunk, he didn't even realize that he was admitting, like he was a Mexican. Yeah, a he didn't even police. realize that he was admitting that he be letting the cops know who out here have the guns. You feel yeah. me? Like, what? That's people, why they picked his ass. People out here. Because <laughs> he talked too much. Like, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> right? They got, they, oh, they, 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 got, they sent the best. You, if they I'm, be like, yo, well, we got this on you, and you got to tell, like, people. And it really, t- and, and, like, it, and it's so funny, whoa. you know yeah. who it be? It be the killers. It be the killers who really is the tellers, because I yes. know a nigga who's a killer, bro. And listen, that nigga told on a murder and he got locked up for weed and it wasn't even a pound of weed and they didn't even ask him about the the, the murder they didn't know nothing about the that murder was and he started singing about a murder over getting caught for weed that wasn't even a pound you wasn't even gonna go to jail you wasn't even gonna get no time for this and they didn't bring up the murder you brought it to them how it much and he's, a, and he's a whole killer he's a whole fucking killer I'm glad I ain't a killer bro <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I don't kill nothing <laughs> Cause that it be the killers, bro. Be telling, be telling, bro. Them, them gangsters, them gangsters be telling, bro. They be the first fucking ones to tell. What about them hustlers, though? What about the hustlers? I'm not gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. I can't trust none of these motherfuckers. Yeah, I, like I feel like it's crazy because a nigga really tell before a girl. That's what I was about to say, and it's it's weird to me because it's like girls. Not a lot of girls are like me. Not a lot of girls are like you. That's yeah. like street. Because yeah. a lot of girls are really like, you know, and they're the ones that won't tell compared to a guy. Yeah, that's And I real. just personally feel like this. Say, God forbid, my mom get raped or, you know, anybody that's a taxpaying citizen, yeah. I feel like you're allowed to go to the cops. Yeah. But once you in the street, a gangbanger, anything, you feel mm-hmm. me? Once you doing anything street, nah, bro. Yeah. You can't tell. Like, you're not allowed to. I but up- I feel like, you know how everybody yeah. be like, oh, you can't snitch? All these white motherfuckers and black motherfuckers that's out here paying their taxes, and you they know, I don't mind them telling. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. You feel yeah. me? You ain't you ain't no code to the streets. You don't got no code to the streets. You could tell. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. You're a law abiding citizen. Yep. That's you pay taxes. That's what your job is to do. You pay these people. You feel me? You yep. go, you better call them. Hello. But people like me, people that's in the street, I feel like you have no right. Yeah. To tell because you'll see a lot. You have so no that's right. Just like. When I say my people like how many people you know, I said just me and Woo that's the only mm-hmm. person I trust mm-hmm. right now. That's all you life. that's all you need to trust. Like because you don't need to trust more than one person with your that's life, true. bro. Like you don't. That's you don't true. if you you don't need to trust more than one person with your life. I used to have so many people around me because I thought that meant I was safe and those no, are most that those I was are because they're from. so close Damn. to you. Those are the ones that's going to be able to get you faster because they're so close yep. to you. And because be they know everything. everything. Oh yes. yeah, they know all your business. Because I was like, when stuff would come up on the blogs, I'm like, hey, wait, I didn't even do nothing. I would literally log on the internet to see what I did, and I'd be like, oh word. So I'm like, I wonder who told us, but I could just tell by certain things. I was like, dang, like yes. I gotta let everybody go. And I always tell people, like. I'm not saying that I'm all this big old celebrity and stuff like that because I honestly got into the industry as a joke. I used to call labels and be like, yeah, y'all owe my people's a check. But I could sing. So I sung my way through the doors. <laughs> I, never, I didn't have no manager, no mm-hmm. nothing. But I always had people that had my back. So to this day, like, Jay Brown has my back mm-hmm. because he knows my family. And it's just like certain people that's fab have my back. Mm-hmm. It's just certain people that just always just like. Honestly, just I love I love that you have one person. Like, I love that you have one person because I feel like when I got locked up Mm -hmm. and I was looking at Confidential Informer 1, I knew who that Confidential Informer 1 was because it was only this one nigga that was around. There's only this one nigga that I told something to. It was only this one nigga who was there with certain situations. So Confidential Informer 1 is this person. And when I said that person names to the USDA, they looked at me like they shitted on themselves. Like, oh, shit, how she knows? Because y'all motherfuckers don't even know I only got one person next to me. Dang. So I know who the fuck that one person is that told y'all. So like, you saw, it can you only saw, be him. The you fuck seen you the dice about? before they stop rolling. <laughs> so what y'all talking about? Because I already know what's going on. So what y'all hit me with? Because <laughs> I already know who the snitch is. That's crazy. Y'all I'm, might as well put the though, nigga. I said the nigga name and all that. Y'all might as well put the nigga name. Because, like, see, I want, I know who it is. Like, <laughs> I know who damn. that is.
Yeah. Like uh, I, I only me, I only, I know what I say to certain people, so I yeah. know who could who you it comes already know from. where it came from. I know where it comes from. You feel me? Because I don't keep a group around me. Like fuck yeah. a group. Like you feel me? I don't want y'all motherfuckers around me anyway. I yeah. like being by myself. I'm Pisces. Like you feel me? I like my space. So like I, I'll be around the crowd for a little while, but after a while, I was like, all right, bye. I'm yeah. a homebody. I don't. I don't party unless it's a bag. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I be in my house. Like you feel me? So it's like. I love that you have one person around you. That's all the fuck yeah. you need. I don't even need to trust one person in my life. I don't need to yeah. trust a million. Why the fuck would I need to trust more than one person with my life? My li- I only have one life. Mm-hmm. That's so true. I only have one fucking life. I'm not trusting re- more than one person. I didn't realize that until, like, until now. I was entrusting my career, my life, my children in the hands of people that were not only novices, but people that really didn't even care. Yeah. Like, I would be like, because he'd be like, you know what, Mo? I'm going to just tell you the truth. Nobody cares. Do you, feel, do, like, <laughs> do you feel sometimes you never had the opportunity twofold, though? I've had, I've had plenty of opportunities, but I just never did. Like, you know how many times, like, even this one, I was like, man, I don't even want to do this no more. Like, there have been times I'll be wanting to quit, but I'm like, I got to keep going because... See, but that's you your thoughts. Going, Did you Mo. really have an opportunity? I feel like I never really had an opportunity. Like, I, I had no thoughts. I you understand? I had thoughts of, like, I don't want to yeah. do this shit no more. I don't want thoughts. But I feel like I never even really had the opportunity yeah, to fold. Like, that shit never even of... presented itself. Like, you feel me? Like, the opportunity Because this, twofold. honestly, this is all I know. Like, you know, people like, oh, I used to work at um, Arby's or mm-hmm, McDonald's mm-hmm. or Macy's or mm-hmm. Foot Locker. I've never had a regular job. I used to braid hair. Fuck all those places for never yeah. hiring me. But go ahead. For real? <laughs> I never filled no, out an application. No, I, I, I had scared. other jobs, other places, but all those places you just named, they didn't want me, so I fuck never, them. I never had a regular, like, I used to braid hair, and then after that, I would go you on said, tour. You said all you knew is this. Yeah. From since I was like young, I went on tour with my uncle, and then I went on tour with. Uh, remember Gangstar? Yes, yes, I of course. With them, and my dad used to have to bring me. He drove me to New York. I was seventeen. <laughs> yeah. He brought me up here, and I sang "His Eyes on the Sparrow" in Guru's living room. Yeah. And he was like, "Do you want to go on tour? We're gonna get you a passport." They took me the next day, Aww. and my dad always brought me to where I needed to go. <gasps> That's after so that, lit. I came home and um. Came back from overseas. And that I shit happened fast. Green Acres, yeah, Green Acres Mall. I didn't even have a demo tape. And it was, I, I had a beeper. And, yeah. they, and I, it was a 212 <laughs> number. And I called it back. And they was like, um, Missy wants you to call. I was like, yo, don't play with me. Like, Missy do not <laughs> want you to go. And literally, Missy Elliott said, I love yo, her. like, I heard some of your songs. Yo, you want to go on tour, nigga? I was like, yep. She was like, when can you get to the city? I said, I'm on my, my way. way. <laughs> and after that, I could have been there yesterday. Her, Aaliyah, like, yeah. That's why I was just like, the things that I was afforded for, like the things that people have now, they have demos and SoundClouds and YouTube links and producers. I ain't have none of that. None of that shit. I had some, I was in a hood ass garage recording songs and Missy heard the songs and she took me on tour for that. So then I became like vocal producer. She had me in the studio with every, from Total, Whitney Houston, Tamar Branks. How was your experience with Aaliyah? I was so young when she passed away. Like, I really want to know, like, what was your experience? She was like, you know, like, is she calm? She was like mad. Chill. She would be just walking around the city, going to pizza places, or we did Romeo Must Die together, mm-hmm. and um, we toured with Missy together. Uh-huh. So she would just be walking around chilling. I'd be like, like, mm, does she not realize what, what she are you is? doing outside? <laughs> She'd be like, oh, I'm cool. Jomo right there, Jomo Hankerson. That's her. Yeah. Family. Uh-huh. So they always was around, or she always have her brother Rashad with her. Mm-hmm. Her family was always, always around. around. Like nobody was gonna mess with her. She'd be like, you want something? And we had the um Skytel pages then, and she would text. Text me and tell me don't work too hard. I'm be like, look Aww. who's talking. Right. So her aura, she was oh, just a smile, a hug, and she could dance her ass off. Mo, you so connected and you got so many stories. I feel like this shit is like a movie, like a TV movie, or autobiography. Where's the book? Where's the film? Like nobody. Where's the, like, I don't know if it's because I'm so young. I'm not that young, but the story some of the stories that you I never would know this like I'm so glad we're talking about this so people yeah. my age that listen to this podcast could really connect know and dots. connect yeah. with you yes yeah, because yeah. it's like they, they don't history. yes yeah. at all they but just, I did hear that mm-hmm. you had a radio station before yeah and was it in Philly I did um, radio in D.C., Baltimore, mm-hmm. Philly, but I started off in New okay, York. Okay, so I heard that you used to get a lot of, like, backlash yeah. because of you speaking the truth and them feeling yeah. like, oh, because you're a celebrity, you're not supposed to be telling how you yeah. really feel. Yeah. Like, what? Like, the what? first time So you were supposed to radio, just, just they used, basically man, radio not... Radio used to be, like... <laughs> 
I started off in New York. I um, used to fill in for everybody at Hot 97. Uh-huh. Okay. So then after that, um, I moved to Baltimore, and that's when I got pregnant with my first daughter. And Thea, that runs Clear Channel up here, Power 105, uh-huh. she gave me my... I called. I was just like, oh, well, I'm pregnant, so I need to... Uh, like, just, I just need to do stuff. I don't want to be on the road because I wanted to be sure that I could carry this child. Uh-huh. And she was just like, are you serious? So they literally hired me. I didn't have an air check or anything. And she would call down from upstairs. She would be like, you are freaking hilarious. <laughs> like, we used to act like Martin. That's how I used to do. Everything was a joke to me. I was like, oh, I'm going to be singing. I'm going to be a superstar. Went up there singing. Got a record deal. Yeah. Said, I'm going to be, I want to do radio because uh-huh. I used to watch Martin. Yeah. <laughs> like, WZUP. So yeah. we were used to do, like, dumb stuff. Uh-huh. But then I would do an entertainment report. And I was like, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Martin. Like, that's what I heard. So I'd be like, child, did y'all? I'd be like, this, that's what I heard. And they used to get uh, mad at me. And I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm not really going to fight Yes, these like, people. I really heard that you used to really used get to into mad. shit for telling your truth. Like, they used to be mad. Bitch, I could say what the fuck I want to say. But like, what you I'm bad for? That, that, like, podcast and, you know, just, like, the way that we can... F- it's supposed to be the freedom of speech, freedom of expression. I have that Absolutely. right. So the fact that, oh, well, you can't... Because you're a like, celebrity. Because you're a celebrity. Yeah. They felt like you shouldn't be saying your truth. Like, it's okay for people like us to say how we feel. But somebody like but you, But I be like, I'm on the inside. Like, I be no. like, that bitch is cap. That bitch is <laughs> fake. That bitch can't fight. That bitch ain't gonna pull up. Yeah. But then I realized, they was like, you know, I used to get like... You know why? Because, because I was if, so little and they be If I say it, listen, if I say it, they're gonna feel like, oh, she doesn't really know them. So she just popping shit just to pop shit. You know, so it don't affect... But for you to really know these people and in the industry, now yeah. everybody's gonna believe what the fuck you say because you in the industry. So what she's saying, it gotta be facts. So it's yeah. the simple fact that it's like that. If I say it, people might be like, she don't know, she not around them, she like, ain't in the industry. People if used you to really say they're gonna be like, oh yeah. Rest. They used to really think I wanted to fight Prince and I didn't, but they didn't know the whole story. They went thought I wanted oh, to I fight. I forgot Spike about Lee. the whole the concert thing with <laughs> yeah, Prince. I yeah, had yeah, to yeah, pee yeah. And they was coming through, and they yeah. was like, like I hate when they be like, oh, someone's so coming through. Everybody cleared away. I'm like. Bitch, don't, ain't nobody, I say, ain't nobody gonna look at him. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I gotta pee. Yeah. And so, but that's your truth. If that's how you feel, but, how are you mad about my feelings? Like, but these are my really fucking be feelings. But I was just like, no, I love Prince. I love Purple Ray. What is you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you know, I just realized, I was just like, you know, Mo, you gotta calm down because I be super hype. Like with Sp- Spike Lee, it was like something that happened. I was like, I don't really wanna fight him. But I said, but let's do a celebrity boxing match and let's donate the money to charity. They was like, oh my gosh, she being disrespectful. I was like, are you kidding me? I love Do the Right Thing. I yeah. love school days. Are you ki- Like, I always wanted to be in his movie. Like, so anytime I say I wanna fight somebody, they really think I wanna fight them. Yeah. People I remember I used to have to hide my tattoos. Are you kidding me? I said, now y'all got tattoos all in your mouth. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So Everywhere. I'd be like, pay homage, ho. And these people <laughs> be really thinking I'd be serious. I'm like, I'm just going to go home because every time I say something, everybody thinks I'm being mean. And they were and so I mad. really don't be mean. Right. Like, I really come from a, a genuine place. Or, like, if I see somebody, like, like that, that time I hit you up, I was just like, yo, like, she lit. No, you really gave me, like, the craziest speech but it was like so much out of love that I and just I felt like, like I hope she don't take it wrong but I was just like no like honestly I be feeling like certain people nobody knows me nothing you feel me the only no they people, do no the only people my who daughters owe me love you it's my <laughs> mom and my dad that's the only people that owe me something I feel like nobody owes yeah. me nothing like you feel me I don't nobody owes me shit the that's only you know, people is my me. mother and my father so when you came and you was just telling me real shit it wasn't like you was trying to lecture me it's a difference yeah. you feel me if you came in some, and you was on some oh you shouldn't do this it's like Bitch, who you fucking talking to? What yeah. you mean I shouldn't do? Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Give a damn who, who you? you? Yeah. Matter of fact, bitch, you next. Like you feel me? But Back. you didn't come like that. You came on some really, like you cared yeah. and stuff like that. I don't get you know people why? who care about me. Like I only get the people I get who care about me is people like my mother and my father who's mm-hmm. entitled to my family members you're you're supposed to care about me I don't give a fuck yeah. what nobody say you're my mom <laughs> you're supposed to care about me if you didn't know now you know yeah. so when I get other people that genuinely care for me that should be touching me inside because yeah. I grew up in the street where nobody cared about me if they was caring about me it's because I was feeding them if they was yeah. caring about me it's because I was protecting them if they was caring about me it was always for something they wasn't just caring about me to care about me so when you right. came and you was genuinely caring it's like that touches so me. It's like tax stone. Like tax this. really yeah, be right. caring. Shout you feel out me? to my nigga tax. Free tax. Yeah, free you feel for me? Like real. tax, he genuinely cares. So it's like, 
bro, I don't give a fuck what tax wants for me. I give him my oh, I Same. give him my last because I done lost my last and got it back many times. Yeah. That's why they like, emailing you about scamming. Yes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Because I done lost it and got it back many times. Yeah. Allegedly, but yeah. I never, I never felt no way because when you allegedly, <laughs> you, <laughs> I never felt no way because I felt like what you were saying was real genuine yeah. and you didn't have to. You understand? Like you don't know me from nowhere. We never been around each other. We never sat in the same circle. We never been around each other for so for you to take your time out. No, day I do my homework. To write me, and I was, I was just, just like, like <gasps> no, because I would be like, I watch, and I was just like, yo, she's so freaking dope. Yeah, and I know I, Thank this you. is this is just some this is some game this free game right here. Us as women, we already have it hard. Us as brown women, we have it harder. Mm -hmm. Us as women that don't give a fuck, and I will beat everybody. I'll kill everybody in this bitch. That's how you, what I used to walk up. I was just like, we have it three times as hard. So it reminded me of me, and I was just like. She don't realize, like, you could be, uh, like, for my children and my sister, they were like, oh, my God, you going in? We love her. You're, you're our Oprah. And it's so funny because when a lot of people come to me and tell me and write me and be like, oh, you know, you inspire me. Like, I get sad. I do not want to be nobody's inspiration. I do not want none of these girls to look up to me. I've been you in the don't street realize. my whole life. Do you know? I've been so fighting was Oprah. She was my from Baltimore. whole life. Yeah, like, but this at, look, chapter Maya too. Angela, like, look at all these people. I'm just. Like, I just. I just feel like this Maya too. Angela like, was the, the certain, first female was, rapper. But you know the, the Imagine thing is too. Imagine still I rise over like a Neptune's beat. No, but beat, you know Ma. she used to be a matter. Yeah, she did. See. They used, yeah, see, but the thing is, it's lit. different because see? you know why I don't be wanting girls to look up to me because it's certain things that I feel like. Like, say if they tell me a situation, I'm not going to be the one to tell you don't do that. <laughs> you better, That's exactly why people that love you, though. Up. That's exactly like, you why people better, love you. I can't tell a person to do something that I want to do. I can't tell a person, oh, don't do this. Don't go into gangs. Don't do that. Baby. That's all I, I've been in the gang since I was 12 years old. I ain't that's know how to wash this coochie all, right. You feel all, me? Like, the <laughs> fuck? Like, I, I've been in the gang my whole... That's all I know. Yeah. I, had, I don't know nothing else. Me now transitioning mm -hmm. and me now, you know, being unactive, this is new to me. This is scary to me. Like, me, you know, falling back. It's because just an extension of your gangster. Street, it's a different way for you. That shit is easy. It's a that different way so for you to be gangster. That shit is so easy being in the street. You're going to save it. more lives than you realize trust me you have a want, whole generation I don't even want to be responsible of, for something like that as much as but with that's much too as much given, pressure. much as required yeah. but that's why you had to go through what you went through because you could talk about it people talk about it because they read about it they google it you actually been there so I'm sitting here and like damn I ain't even know and I'm like intrigued right and we ain't pop no toilet bowls nigga like you know like, <laughs> shit, they we throw, like they, damn they throw you as what? A people don't understand like, they shit. can throw you out to the wolves you gonna come back what the fuck next yep. yeah but you it's, know but you know so funny too I feel like because of situations like that and you might you might understand too Woo he might understand I'm so angry at times mm. I'm so angry I like jail changed me for me to be calmer yes you know mm. I think more now but I'm so angry like I'm an angry person I am I'm just a person that I'm with whatever with whoever like you understand that's how I so am. it's like no you think you like that until you go to jail and you experience well, you half know what? the stuff. I was and you married. Feel, and you feel I didn't like, do five years in like, jail, but I did five years in a marriage. And you feel like ain't nobody going to ever bring you back there? Since, it's like, me. nah, boo-boo. Before me, it'll be you. I'm yeah. telling you. Like, you feel me? Before I, think I go back, it'll be, be you. I said, though, for the fact that you recognize that you have angry moments, right? That means that you understand that that's something that is left of what, what's centered for you. So yeah, you like, know how I to just, manage just, that I shit. I just feel like, yeah, That's a big deal. A lot of people can't get back that. because yeah. I feel like it did make me grow in a lot of different ways like a lot of things that I see that I've been through in jail it yeah. really made me grow compared to the person that I was but I still feel like just some of the stuff that I think about and some of the stuff that I do is like damn like nobody in this world should be happy to see people you understand nobody gotcha. in this world should just be happy to sit there and be able to see people walk around and be happy about that, to see somebody walk around, to be able to walk around freely. Nobody should be happy to be able to walk out their door when they feel like it. I and agree I'm, that I'm that, that shouldn't happy. be the way that people I'm learn that, gratitude. I'm so happy that I could walk out my fucking door, my nigga. Like, Aww. nobody like, should be that happy. But now I understand because I didn't understand. Yeah, but you like, don't understand. That's opening the nobody, door for me. Nobody should be happy to be able to pick up a phone. Nobody should be happy to have to walk to a refrigerator and get any juice. Nobody should be happy to be able to go in their car, pump gas. Nobody should be happy to have to get a wash and set to get a haircut to the drive to see shit like nobody should be that happy bro 
Like, you shouldn't be that happy. Why am I just happy to do something like that? Because it was taken away from me. Like, you feel me? Like, it's like little things like that, of course, I appreciate it. But this shit shouldn't make me bring happiness to me. Like, you understand? Like, I'd rather be joyful for what's going on in my life. But a material, like we spoke about last mm-hmm. time, I don't ever want to be happy or for materialistic shit. Gotcha. But I am. Because it was taken away from me. Before, I was never happy. Like, I'm driving regular. <laughs> you know, a <laughs> regular. Now, it was like, I'm so happy. Like, bro, I'd be letting cars pass me. I used to be having road range, all types of shit. Now, certain stuff don't even get to me because it's like, I remember when I couldn't drive. Right. You wow. feel me? I remember when I couldn't eat. I remember when I couldn't sleep. I remember when I sat here and just had to listen to bitches pop off on a bowl all day because I had no choice. This is jail. What the fuck I'm going to do? Like, you understand? Like, yeah. I remember all those times. So it's like, I don't wish that shit on nobody. I remember going on visits and being so happy that I seen my mom and my dad because when I was in regular general population, they used to come see me every week. Okay. So I remember coming back and have to pretend to my friends like I had the worst visit ever. Like, oh, it was all right. It was okay. Because these bitches done been in here five, six years and they get one visit. Mm -hmm. These bitches done been in here 10 years, took a nigga, charge for a nigga. They kids don't care about them. Them kids don't love them. They kids not picking up. They kids not coming to see them. And I got to come back. And they so excited for my visit. Yo, how was it? What niggas was wearing? What what they eating? What's this? What's that? What's in the vending machines? What's in the vending machines? Wow. They're happy to know what they're serving out there in the vending machines, how it looks, because they never stepped foot out there Damn. for five, six years. So you dumbed your shit down. So I'm dimming my happiness. I'm dimming my joy of my visit every week that I'm in joy. So they that don't I'm in feel jail. bad. Yeah, so that they don't feel bad because my friends is, you feel me? They're yeah. not getting nothing. And I'm out there for hours every week, Saturday and Sunday, getting the visits. You feel me? And I... I'm fresh in here and they not in here. I'm walking past the mailroom collecting my mail and I'm seeing girls that don't even look at the mailroom. That's they hella know they ain't empathetic. Getting shit. Hella they, empathetic. They know they ain't getting nothing. Like, you understand? Like, that, that shit used to break my heart. That is like, damn, like, I don't even give a fuck about these girls, but I give a fuck about these girls. Mm-hmm. Like, this is so sad that, like, I'm eating. I could buy whatever I want. I'm eating good. These bitches is on the phone begging their parents and people for $20, $30. You can't get damn. nothing in jail with $20, $30. That is nothing. That's nothing. You cannot get nothing. This is not like the state where people could send you packages. This is the fucking feds. You feel me? You yeah. can't get packages. Your family can't send you shit but money. So if they don't got it out there, you don't got it. If your family's out there struggling, you was the provider for them, guess what? You're in here fucking struggling because you was provided for them, and them motherfuckers can't do nothing without you, and you ain't there. Dang. Money is the only way. So you mean they to tell me they food stamps and get you a package and send it up? No, they can't do that. It's not going. So you mean to happening. tell me even when you was under those those circumstances of like just being fucked up in jail? You know what I'm saying? You still were able to hear conversations, you know, from the other women who were in the facility with you and find something empathetic inside of you to like e- to ignore yeah. how miserable Listen, you are and think about not making them feel bad. When I was, in, when I was inside bad. the camp, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really have a miserable bit in the camp because I used to just I'm living life. It's cool. It's the camp. You feel me? Okay. And I'm getting visited every week what would make me sad is knowing this it's not that they're telling me it I have two eyes I could see that they're you not getting it. visits every week I could yeah. see how excited they are for me to get a visit I could see that they're not coming to commissary every two weeks like me I could see that they're not jumping on this phone that they're not doing Skype that they're not in the computer room writing their peoples they're not getting no mail I see this our Damn. names is getting cold I'm not hearing your name sis like you understand when I'm getting magazines they coming to me yo could I see it after you don't even worry you can have it that's what he said you he understand said magazines and yeah. I'm like for real like that's that shit like, is what? sad, bro. That shit is like, it's really a heartbreaking experience because, of course, in the guys' jail, they get a little, you know, they have a little bit more love. But in the females' jail, out of 300 females, used to be like five, six of us on the visiting floor. Are you serious? Yeah. Man, go see yo, the ladies. If you know any ladies that's incarcerated and you listen to this and shit, then I feel, write and them a letter like, and, and then I feel like life is so fucked up because when I came home and remember I tried to give back and do like a, um, a Mother's Day. That yeah, shit. they stopped it. I tried to do a Mother's Day thing where I was asking people to help me come up with money so I could buy Mother's Day cards to send it out to all these people that's locked up that don't get mail. You understand? Or just yeah. mothers and whatever. Aunts, uncle, I mean aunts, like cousins. Everybody that's a female. 
they put it down as I'm trying to scam. So what I did is take money of my own money. I spent my own $600, bought my own cards, had my email, and made everybody send me the addresses to where their parents is locked up, where their aunts, where their sisters, where their cousins that's females. Everybody locked up, and I just sent it off to them on my own. So I just let them know, like, listen, you don't know me, but I'm a person that was in your footsteps, and I know how good it feels. You feel me? To get mail. So I hope this, you know, reaches you and good blessings and good help. Happy Mother's Day, blah, blah, blah. And sent it off to them on my own. Like, fuck it. And I was sending it from federal jails to state jails to Cali, Alabama. Everywhere was getting mail from me. Like, but they just, they put it down as I'm trying to scam. And it's like... I'm, and mind you, I have a P.O. box. I'm telling bitches, listen, if y'all feel that like I'm trying to scam, buy the cards and send it to my P.O. And then you feel me? I'll mail it out. Why would I need y'all $600? <laughs> I have a Porsche. That is that's not even my fucking insurance. <laughs> like the fuck, like that don't even cover my insurance for the month. Like, that ain't even a tire. Actually. That was one of my windows. Well, yeah. One of my mirrors that got stolen the other day that I yeah. had to pay for. Like the fuck. Oh my God. Like that's how much that cost. I hope whoever stole it, ugly ass broke it when they. Yo, I hope they do that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. Whoever and they get stole up my back mirror, like y'all are so yeah. lucky because I was walking around looking for another Porsche to steal theirs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they took both of the mirrors from both sides. They cut it and they took the mirrors. They took the, the just the inside, just the mirror part. They didn't take the whole you know piece. They just took cost, the. So they probably just because you know there are people going around stealing tires off cars. Like they stealing everything. You bend over far enough, they'll steal the crack shit off out, your ass. Shit, my aunt used to say that they'll steal the shit out your ass if you like. First of all, to sell my <laughs> mirrors, my mirrors cost a six hundred. But if I wanted to install the heating part, they said oh, that's yeah, another yeah. fifth. That's what. Of course, yeah, that's right. another fifteen hundred. <laughs> Guess what? Winter time come, <laughs> I warm this shit up with my breath. Hello, yeah. I'm not paying fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, heated outside murder. <laughs> that's what you talking about? I'm gonna wipe that shit the fuck off. Y'all got me <laughs> fucked up. De ice that motherfucker myself. Shit. Hell yeah. Fifteen hundred dollars on top of the six. Yeah, if that would have cost way much, if they would have took my whole mirror, they just took the actual mirror that you see yourself with. And at first, I'm thinking it was just one. Then when I look to the other side, I'm not. Wasn't nothing there either. <laughs> I can't even park. Yo, listen, <laughs> no, it was the scariest the camera thing. It wasn't the scariest experience driving to the fucking Porsche store with no mirrors. Like just to, yeah. to have no mirrors and you're driving having to try to switch lanes. That was the scary. It's like I only get two scary, scary experiences while driving. That one and when I sneeze. I do not like sneezing and driving because I sneeze and I close my eyes. So <laughs> No, seriously, like who opens their eyes while sneezing? Damn. Do you know how to sneeze with your eyes open? No, I know they say your heart stops for one second. But do you sneeze with your eyes open? I don't think. Do. I don't think do you sneeze with your eyes open? I don't know. I just it just be feeling so good. Like I don't be thinking about it. Sneezing like, be feeling so good. Even naturally, you just good. automatically go. So imagine driving and. All the time when I sneeze, it's always God always makes me have three. It's always the three oh, sneeze. The Yo, so it's like, uh, 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 I'm dying. I uh, can't see. In a low to the ground ass Porsche. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes, and it's Yo. always three fucking sneeze. And it's always three. It's never just one and just keep it pushing. It's like, no, bitch, we're going to hit you three times knowing that you're scared to close your eyes while driving. Yeah. At least you don't get the goddamn oh hiccups. God. It ain't nothing worse than the fucking I hiccups. I hate adult hiccups. Oh, my yes. God. I'll be like, why do I no, have you know you Why did I drink that? I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I be feeling like, go ahead, hiccups. This probably that ass growing. <laughs> like, because I know I ain't getting no taller. I ain't getting hiccups at all. It's probably this ass. Go ahead. Let me hiccup some more. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that shit, yo. Yo. I want to ri- remind everybody to, you know, keep it fucking butte. Make sure y'all rate. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all comment. Yes. Speaking of rating, you know you're still number one, right? Oh. Hey! <laughs> Listen, so they just they just told me that, um, what exactly am I? Okay, so I'm the first female to be number one, and I'm the first black female Please to be man. number one. you making history. For three history. consecutive God. weeks in a row. Yeah. Dope. So That's I'm dope. super happy. I'm nervous also because you know what I'm saying? I'm a black bitch. <laughs> I, don't know, like, I don't be knowing how to act. Like, I be nervous. I don't be wanting nobody to look up to me. So did y'all, ever, did y'all see um, Little Kim and Ashanti perform at the um, New York Fashion The Pretty Week? Little Things? I saw it on the Yes, it's I Pretty saw Little it on, Things. Um, 
On the blog. I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't see Ashanti perform, but I love Little Kim. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw I clips her. from both of the performances. I didn't see Ashanti. Like, I guess because I think because I'm so Brooklyn, I just mm-hmm. love Little Kim. Like, well, it's fucking her. Little Kim. She's you know shorter than me. Like, you know that? Yeah. No. <laughs> She's 4'9". She no, yeah. seriously. She definitely She's did. They, 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 she, she was in the same building as me when she was locked up. She was in um, room one. They put her in a good room. Room one, if okay. she'll tell you, it's 301. Is the handicap room. So it's a cell by herself. It's huge. And she doesn't have no bunkie. So she didn't have to have a bunkie. It's huge as fuck. She get a real toilet. Not the one that you got to push the button. She get a real flush toilet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So she was in a good room. But she was definitely in um, FDC Philly. Damn. Yes. She was locked up there. Yeah. She got love there. Um, I heard Aretha Franklin came. What was it? Aretha? No. Uh, Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle had came to so see her there. So where was Martha Stewart locked up at? Cause she did a fit. Fa- she was in a. That's not, not the same. I don't think. I don't think she was in. Nah, she was in a camp, but I don't think it was Danbury. I think it was in like maybe like um. Hazleton? No, it wasn't Hazleton. She was somewhere else, but it was a camp. She was in a big camp, but it wasn't Danbury. The person who was in Danbury was Lauren Hill. For real. For tax evasion, Lauren Hill was in Danbury. Oh, I didn't know she had to go. I, I thought she sovereigned herself. No, she was in. She was in there. <laughs> she was in Danbury they camp. Said she was just like. Well. And somebody from like I think like um Atlanta Housewives. Some somebody she from some out. type of. Um, she said she didn't. She didn't live within the society. <laughs> so she sovereigned herself. Yeah. I said, man, I need to. Everybody she better be glad that album was good. That's all I know. Facts. That she she Facts. you nigga, you lucky. <laughs> Because we have been holding on to the respect of the miseducation of Lauren Hill and the Fujis for a long time. Yeah, a lot of we've been excusing because you still Lauren Hill. I I didn't see Ashanti's performance. I'm actually um, she looked dope. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see it online either. We she did, looked um, dope. Her body is amazing. She had a chest. She crazy. Had, yeah, she has yeah. an amazing body. Yeah, OD. her boy and, and Ashanti, y'all both got them evergreen voices. Y'all shit ain't really went nowhere. Yeah. So and it's got only gotten better. But like, what's with crazy time. was like I used to smoke, so I'm glad to yeah. even still have my throatage. Yeah, mm-hmm. you still got it. Huh? Huh? She's still on it. She's on the feminine forward towards me. Okay. Ashanti. Monica, A. Marie. I love Monica. When Karen does that? Wilson. When does of that course. come out? Um, well, we did two dates, and Brandy was on that one. That was in California, but now we have October 11th. Uh, I know we'll be in New York January 31st. Okay. No, no December 31st. Oh, New Year's Eve. At, okay. In Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> so I better have an invite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be there. Hell if I don't yeah. have an invite, there's no fucking party. <laughs> Everything is shut down. Shut down. No. Plug, pull, Listen, nigga. It's That's my it. hood now. I run this no, one. It's in, it's in Brooklyn. Cause I if it's in Brooklyn, I'll make sure that I, I don't even need it, and I'm getting in there. Trust me. No. I'm gonna know somebody at the motherfucking door, and if I can't get in, there is no party. <laughs> no, I'm shutting it down. No, I come through. That's why I'll be like, yeah. I ain't know if y'all be on the road. Or, Listen, everywhere I'm at, That's pull dope. up. I popped out. Pop out, out baby. I'll take, like, it's, well, they're going to make the announcement tomorrow. Well, I can show you because I got to let them make the announcement. But, like, I just signed on to do some other things. Y'all going to be like, yeah, oh, bitch, you a, working, working. You work. You booked and busy. Congratulations. Because yes. yes. you're important to a lot of people and you didn't give a whole lot of shit to music yeah. and entertainment I overall. Don't, I don't, but the thing yeah. is, you know, it's so funny. I don't think you realize how important you are yet. It's okay. You'll, it'll come. I really don't. You it'll should. Because I'll be like, you know what? I'm, you I'm, I'm like, because no, I'll be like. I'm, I finally got in my mind because there's people that owe me money and people yeah. that owe me and then I you know, was like you, you know what he was like don't nobody owe you nothing Mo just chalk it chalk it get a clean slate start from scratch and I was just like that's the reason why God has preserved me yeah like my voice my my good looks yeah my yeah. kids my kids be so hyped yeah I seen that you was peeling like a snake yeah I just had got the, um, <laughs> I got a three it's called mm-hmm. a three fifty so you sit under laser lights the extractions like. All of this had broke out from different people doing my makeup and stuff. So now it's just like, then, and then you peel. And, then and you, you know what's so funny? I can't never have somebody do my makeup. Even though I'm not that good at it, I'd rather look. Be looking good. I'd rather look how I look than look how they be making me look. Because I'd be looking like a totally different person when people That's do my makeup. That's what he He said, just, just, don't, just get some <laughs> just, And I get, and I get something light. Young. Like me, I just, get, I just get a regular natural face. Like me, I yeah. just put natural shit. Boop, boop, boop. One, two, three. Like I spend three, literally three minutes. My sister Tommy, me. I literally <laughs> spend three minutes on my <laughs> face. Mm-hmm. Three minutes. Because Whenever I be like, boop, 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 be like boop, why you got all that shit look, on your face? You look mad look, old. All I, all, I, all, I, listen, all I do is wipe some and that's it. That's it. 
I'm telling you, I just three minutes. Time yourself three minutes. I can't. And then on top of I it, hate sitting I hate it for hours. And I'd be like, I don't like people. I don't know where your brush has been, bitch. I don't know what, what your aura is. Yes. I don't like certain people aura because you might have bad spirits. You might be doing this because the truth. you feel me. This is what's gonna pay your bills right now. But you probably really don't like me. You feel me? Yeah. You probably hiddenly don't like me. And it's like <laughs> now you on my face or now you in yeah. my hair. Yeah. And now I wonder why I got bumps or why my hair's falling or out. Why you know, come out looking like Chucky? Yeah, it's because it's because you. It's because your fucking aura. Or like people be having, there's this, I call it the Instagram look, that same beat that they do on everybody else. I be like, I don't want that look. And, and I, just I don't want know how, I don't, and I don't know how to do the highlight doors. thing. Like, you know how people be highlighting or making their nose skinnier and their forehead smaller? Listen, I don't got time. I don't got time. Right. <laughs> leave my forehead the way it is, boo boo. <laughs> like, leave my nose the way it is. I like, be, I be let it rock. I'll be like, pinch me like a white woman. <laughs> Give me Orange County nose. <laughs> you don't, do you yes. know how to do makeup? Yeah, I do. So, I know to actually do my own makeup really good, but I just be so tired. I be like, I don't feel like laying listen, out the products. I'm not going to yeah. hold you. I don't give a fuck how none of y'all bitches and feel about this. And I get free product. I don't care how none of y'all hoes feel about this. Sometimes my makeup be three days old. Because, you know, yeah, I don't wash it off. I just keep it on my face for three fucking days because I'm tired and I don't got time to, and I sleep on I my be, back. Be, well, at the end of the day, it's your damn face. <laughs> I sleep face. on my yeah. fucking be, back and I don't get no bumps. My, so that's I'm how you can tell. Say, like, I don't get no bumps. Get, my skin is super sensitive if I don't what do wash you, it What up. do you use, though? I use um, Dermalogic Canal, but I used to just use Noxzema mm-hmm. and Oil of Olay. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you what to use when we get off of here because okay. I don't want to tell these hoes. Cause these hoes are ungrateful. They, they ungrateful, but what I use the shit only costs ten dollars, bro. Oh man! But it's all yeah, natural. Tell me. Yeah, it's an all natural ingredient. It costs ten dollars, and that's the soap that I wash my face off with. And yeah, and tell her after the mics because they can pay you to tell her that. Facts. How about right. that? Part? Damn, yeah. I just was doing free shadows. I don't use none of them products. I said I take it. Back. <laughs> take it the fuck back. Facts. She Beep don't it. use none of them shit. Beep it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go over some of the emails that people have. Like I have okay. a um. A, a section where I tell people that they could ask me questions. Okay. So you know, if you want to ask me questions and you want me to or well, ask me advice, it's axstarbrim at gmail dot com. That's where okay. you could you know ask me questions. So we have a few here. All right. Let's see. What Which do we one f- do you want to get started with? You want to start with the first one we have up. Yeah. Let's and Lil Mo, you got to chime in. You gotta, okay. Yeah, I mean, you got to chime, chime in on this in. shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to be this big be some, Mo. This be some you crazy time, shit. Okay? okay. Say it with your chest. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> the first in, the first email is from uh, Taria, which I'm not understanding. Pronounced which, like homework in Spanish. Okay. Taria. 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 Mm-hmm. Taria. That's yeah. right. Okay. Well, she loves your show and she loves the voice that you're putting out there, Star. She says she's a military vet and she's done with her degree next semester. Her question for you is should she continue to be giving towards her family and those who aren't even her friends? Mm-hmm. Which I feel like the answer is you you're already asked her. But anyway, story. I asked this because I've recently given money to my mother and both sisters. I have my brother who is in jail and who asked for money mm. and a person I knew from the military has asked me for money that I wasn't even that close to. Mm. I don't have the money that they think I have. I don't work. I only I get you money did from have the, mili- the money that they think you I mean, got. And like, like you have. But anyway, I only get money from the military for school, and that's it. Should I cut them off and say fuck the people I'm not even cool with? I feel bad for saying no sometimes. So it sounds like this is more of an issue of her. She knows she needs. I to feel say like no. sometimes you have to help yourself before it. you help people. At the yeah. end of the day, and I'm not gonna keep giving. Like you feel me? Like, but how do you feel about this, little mo? Well, because I'm such a giver, and then when it's time, I it, like I need With nobody. Need that bag it'd, by be no, it'd be nobody there. The same people you they give, don't. it'd be no. It don't even be them. It's like they there'd don't. be nobody there. Like they don't. what's the point of me giving? I can't even come to y'all for advice. I can't come to y'all for no money. I yeah. can't come to y'all for y'all to pop out when it's time for me to fight. Y'all <laughs> pointless. You feel me? Like yeah, it's no reason you need to be in my life. I feel like I need to use yeah. everybody in my life, but just not misuse them. And yeah. you need to use me, but just don't misuse me. Yeah. Huh? I'm a genius, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. It's just like people... She on her I don't know. I don't get jobs. But like her brother that's locked up, maybe throw him a couple dollars. But I definitely feel like your brother who's locked up, he deserves some money. Like mom. you feel me? He's locked up. He has no way of getting money. Yeah. I don't even feel a mom. If you get, if you, how much times are you going to keep giving your mom? Oh, yeah, like you understand? True. Like you just gave your mom. I'm not going to keep giving my mom, and I need to help myself. But like you understand? That she said, like that's not even hardly her the people friends. that's your friends, I don't even understand why you're giving them anything because my favorite answer is no. As soon as a person asks me, like, "Yo, you could do me a favor," I'd be like, "No." <laughs> but what is it? Like you feel me? My, I say no, and then I'd be like, "Uh, but what is it though?" 
Oh, yeah, 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 no, no. I keep no. And I some go shit with no. is just ridiculous. Why would you <laughs> ask somebody no. for money that you're not even close with? I don't yeah, understand. Like, like That's audacity. I'm not going to lie to you. Could you write me in my DM and tell me who your name is? Because if you're giving out money, Hello? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I could always use some. Just in the mood, <laughs> Feel me? Shit. Since you're just in the mood to give out money, yeah. just DM me and give me some. I'll show you my I cash app. And she was like, that. I don't even have it like that. So the fact that she don't even have, she, what she say? She don't even, they don't even. It's like she, she said, should money. I cut them off and say, fuck the people I'm not even cool with? Yes. 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 You should have yes. did that before they asked you for money. You said you feel bad for saying no sometimes the, feeling is emotion like and you'll the, get over it but it sounds like the people does she have kids because it sounds like the people she's not even no cool it, with, it didn't say it nothing about kids mother. it didn't say nothing about kids and at the end of the day feeling bad is an emotion and you'll get over it yep. you get over feelings just like gas yep I actually mm-hmm. want to skip the next email and get to the third email because it's a little bit more juicy so let's go straight mm. to to Seaway right it says hi my name is Seaway I had a baby on my wife Okay, I've been with her since high school and she accepted it. But how can I get her to stop throwing that in my face every time we get into an argument, even though she accepted it and was fine with it? She never cheated on me or nothing. And I'm trying to change my ways, but she always throws negativity towards me because of that. What should I do? Okay, so let me let me answer this. I don't know about you, but you could go next. But I personally would never, ever get over something like that, Mm -hmm. especially because it's something like I don't think I could get over cheating Mm -hmm. only because I feel like every time you fucking me, I'm going to feel like you fucked her like this. Mm -hmm. When you in my ear whispering shit, I'm going to be like, you whispered this shit in her ear. We could be having a good time. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look at you and be like, yeah, motherfucker, I remember when the fuck you did. You understand? Like, I feel like I can't even get Yep. <laughs> I can't even get over cheating. Yep. So you tell me, I'm going to have to look at this raggedy ass kid yep. and I got to get over a whole fucking human being. Yep. Yeah. A human being? No, bitch. I lied. I wasn't getting over shit. I yep. just was dumb in love and I lied to you and told you I'm over it. She's yep. never going to get over it. She's and never. at the end of the day, she doesn't have no right to get over it. So either you want to stick with her and let her throw that shit in your face like a real bitch should. Mm-hmm. Or you need to get the fuck stepping, my nigga. Like, it, how is she going to get over something that she's seeing all the time? It's not like, it's one thing to get over cheating, but you just had a baby. So now that's something that is always going to be present. There's no way that I'm getting over something like that. So either you're going to deal with me and anytime I feel like it, because yep. the fucking sky's blue and yep. I want to bring it up. You gonna deal with it or you not? Cause I got the right to bring it up. Guess why? Cause I remain loyal, ten yeah. toes down, and I ain't cheat. And you cheated, and on top of that, had a baby. So you was fucking raw, bitch. Yeah. Which means you could have gave me something. So yeah. now I'm in, I'm now I'm on that. He did give like, you something, a stepchild. Now now I'm on that. Now I'm on the Damn. fact that you put my life at risk. You understand? So like yeah. I feel like she's never gonna get over it. How do you feel? I feel that if he had a baby on you once, he's still fucking that baby mother, mm-hmm. and he's still he gonna have another one like. It's one thing to cheat, and then when you're married, you have to forgive. But then, so everybody says, cheat back, sis. But at the end of the day, when a nigga have a whole baby on you, he has no respect for your marriage. So I, I can't fuck I, with a nigga and, to have a And whole me, baby honestly, on I'm not going to lie to you. As ratchet as I am, I have never cheated on a nigga. Just because, honestly, I feel like females are... I feel females aren't allowed to cheat. If a nigga cheat, that makes him a cheater. If a female cheat, my nigga that I just made a, I, I'm a hoe. I just had another nigga stick his dick in me. Yeah. Like, you feel me? My cheating is me flirting with another nigga. Like, all right, I'm going to flirt with him. You feel me? Make him spend some money on me. Make him take me out. But for me to have that nigga suck my boobies <laughs> or eat this pussy <laughs> or stick his dick in me, mm-hmm. no, boo-boo, you a hoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, yeah. Me? you a Thadiana, you know bitch. With like, all, I just don't feel, I have like, never cheated. I feel like I'd rather leave you where you at. I cheated before. I cheated Ooh, once. Oh, she was a hoe. But I was, that was when I was young. I found she out. She was a hoe. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was in my first marriage. I found out who he cheated with, and I cheated with an NBA player. So I felt like, ah, bitch, yeah, every time yeah. he could shoot a three, yeah, yeah. Bitch, his dick was it. And I left. <laughs> I left. And I never had sex with him again. Do you, okay, before we end this, I want to know, why do you marry all of them? Is it because that's how I you know, was raised? Right? I think it was Is it because like, that, like, you feel like once you have a kid with them, marriage has to I come into... Married, like, with my first one, we were married. Then we had a kid. Then my second one, I was like, oh, my God, I'm already pregnant. We got to get married because mm-hmm. he, he was in mm-hmm. church. And I was like, he was the minister of music. I was like, they're going to sit him down. Like, you really yeah. get in trouble for that. So we got married. That's so crazy because don't nobody fuck more than niggas in church. B- bruh. The they be fucking each other out in the street. Sheesh. Man, but anyway, go ahead. Like, my bad. <laughs> wait till I tell that story. Yeah. I'm going to write to do a movie yeah. on that. But <laughs> with my third one, like with this last one, the worst, like I wouldn't wish that nigga on Satan. Like mm-hmm. I wouldn't wish him on nobody because he's so damaged. And I, like honestly, like 
I don't feel bad because I be like, for real, I be like, like my daughter said the other day, she was like, why is he still alive? Wow, yeah. And when she said, I was like, whoa. Like, she always, she was like, I don't get it. Like, because he's evil. But it's just like, out of all of that I've been through and the opportunities that I never cheated. I was just like, I don't have, I don't have to. Well, cheating is fun. I want to, I want to ask a question. Do you, do you, I was, I was do you regret so this? <laughs> no, I don't regret, I don't regret my ex that put me like how I am. Like, I feel like because of him, every nigga that I get with now, I know I can get over you because I've been through a yeah. nigga that I, I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I put all my love into you as my best friend. You feel yeah. me? I feel like if I could get over that strong of a love, <laughs> bitch, peace out. Because yeah. I could get over anybody now. Like, you know? So I feel like it made me stronger. Like, I don't know. It's sad, yeah. but I don't regret it. Like, I would I would never regret I it. I don't regret it because I know he'll never meet another, another me. Fuck now, him. How yeah. do you feel about you, feel? though? Do you feel like... It made you stronger, like you, like remember you, like, you went all the way down. You started yeah. doing drugs. You was in an abusive relationship. Yeah. You started hating yourself as a person. Yeah, I would, like think about it. Like you feel me? You hated you. Yeah. Like I don't think you. I, I don't. I think that you don't. You don't. I think you would never. You'll do it again. Like you. You no, don't not, not do that. it again. But you don't regret it. I don't think you'll regret no, it. I think because everybody was like, "Are oh, you gonna get like I'll get married again?" But I, I'll be more selective. I won't just be like, oh, "Okay." I'm I'm not saving no more niggas. Mm. Yeah, I bitch. always feel that way. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to build a if man. You, it's not build a beer. You, you feel me? It's not. It's not yeah. build a beer. I'm not building no more niggas. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm done with that. If I want you to come, how come made? Cause I'm coming made. You ain't yeah. building me, bitch. You feel me? Like I got my own house, my own car. <laughs> so you better have your own too. Even if it's yeah. one or the other. Even if okay, you just got a house, but you don't have a car yet. For you to come empty-handed with just an empty stomach to this motherfucking full course dinner row right here, but you said, got me fucked up. But bitch. they said the emptiest, brokest niggas have the best dick, and I'm like, no, I'm okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. A, How'd a, you find I out? I don't mind. All right, <laughs> listen. I don't mind. All right, dick. I don't. I don't need yeah. the best. You feel me? It's I, a nigga I, that. I, see, I, I don't need the best. I'm okay. A nigga that builds you up and want to see you win and that wants to put I, you on I just top. feel like this. These niggas that's out here doing nothing, they, I know so many jail niggas. When I say so many, that's came home and on they bully, bro. Yeah, on they shit. Trust so me. you can't tell me you ain't never been to jail. <laughs> you ain't never been to jail. <laughs> and you broke? And you still ain't doing oh, shit. Oh, you still with your mother? Wait, you don't got a car? And you ain't never been locked up? Oh nah, you ain't the nigga for me. You feel like it ain't no you're excuse. doing you're doing wrong. Like you have no excuses yeah. to why you are the way you are. Obviously, you didn't get knocked on your ass to feel like you gotta build yourself up. And some niggas somebody's just lazy. Ena- somebody's enabling you. Some I don't people know who are it is, just lazy. Some, right there. Somebody's enabling you. Because at Trust the end of the me. day, I know so many niggas that have been females too that have been through so much shit. Like, come on, look at me. I came home feet running. Like, you feel me? So at the end of the yeah. day, it's like, nah, bro. It's too many, it's too it's much no money in this world. For you not to get it. It's so much ways to get and money. Yo, that's what we always be it's saying. It's so like, much ways to get money. You better go sell your ass, bitch. Fact. Or you better go sell your ass, nigga. Or I'm going to sell it for you. They better go sell some dick. <laughs> you better go sell some motherfucking dick. Get to some throat. That's what... <laughs> The fuck? You better sell something. But I definitely want to <laughs> remind everybody to, um, you know, to... <laughs> Email your questions <laughs> to axstarbrim at yeah. gmail.com. I want to thank little Mo for popping yeah, out on us. Man. I want to thank her fun. for sharing her story because there's a lot of stuff that I learned today this that I didn't. Time, this is the first time I shared that. That actually. I didn't know. There's a lot of things yeah. that you mentioned that I didn't know about you. And I'm pretty sure yeah. if I didn't know, a lot of people didn't know. Because, like, yeah. you feel me? We're in two different generations. Yeah. And for you to come out of your way to come be on my show I really appreciate it especially no for you problem. to cut fuck the show I appreciate you coming out your way to write me in the first place yeah. to talk about it put me you know to humble me because I was on 10 talk like, about that you know like that's the shit that I really appreciate more than everything fuck the show you feel me it is yeah. what it is like I could run this shit with him it's a simple fact that you really came out your day when you didn't have to and just showed me genuine love when I felt like oh, no problem. it wasn't old to me yeah. like you know like nobody owned me shit like, but the that's fuck? why everybody loved more and that's why her connection and the relationships that you have in the industry like yeah. your relationship with that's Fab, why regardless of what you deep. go through you're gonna excel because at the end of the day you have genuine love like you understand you yeah. really genuinely did not need to hit me up at all and you didn't sit here and just say a line you you gave me like a paragraph yeah, like I listen girl like, nah cause like, you let I was just like I don't think she know how dope she is I was like yeah like 
we out here. Put like you was like pull up, and I was like we on the way. And it always be mad traffic, and ain't no park. I was like, yo, we here. I don't want yeah. you to think we not coming. Like when I say I'm gonna show up or I'm gonna be somewhere, because it be yes, a lot of people who will out. pull that Lauren Hill. Right, <laughs> my, my chakras like, wasn't in alignment. <laughs> Shit. Like bitch, I fuck your chakras. I want to hear do I, bitch. Right. Lo- while we got you here though, Mo, I know we know you got so much shit going on, so many exciting things happening. Yo. What do you? What can you talk to everybody about that's coming up next for you? And what do you want? Where can people look for you next? She's What's going on? on? No, I'm I'm excited because tomorrow, like, I'm going to the Savage Fenty show, so I'm excited about that. Okay, okay. Just the fact that I'm everybody invited make places. sure y'all pay attention to her Instagram because there's some shit about to hit, man. You yeah. already know it's some shit about to fucking hit. And then yeah. you got you said you got a tour coming up, right? Yeah, the Feminine Forward Tour. That's mm-hmm. the yes. Live Nation tour, um, as well as like finishing up my album. And I'm like in the studio with everybody, but mostly I'm concerned with working with the younger generation yes. of old people. I'm like, don't nobody want to sing them old ass songs. Yeah. <laughs> like the people that I'm in conversation with, like the um, like just everybody. everybody. Yeah, you can't yeah, let yeah, yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. let y'all bitches know yeah. shit because y'all bitches is ungrateful. I tell you, keep yeah, the they, secrets. Don't tell yeah. these hoes nothing. Yeah. You know why? Because they gonna be like, oh yeah, they know. No, bitch, you don't know. So guess what? Yeah. Buy the fucking album, stream the album, Thanks. and then you'll, know. Then, you're, then My, you'll know. then you'll know. Project is just like a lot of people, like um. I was like hyped that Kehlani and YG came out saying that they were a couple because they just redid my song forever, but they added mm-hmm. their twist on it. So I'm just like, yes, that's yeah, I like. I think they, I think they look so cute together. I, 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 I really like them together. I don't know, you know, so funny. I like everybody together that just seems happy, like you know, because I feel Her like smile is like, like anybody. I don't give a fuck. You could be yeah. the ops. You feel me? Like because I feel like <laughs> no, for real. Because I feel like happiness though, yeah. like that shit is rare. Like you know, it to is. find somebody that you happy with. I listen. I don't give a fuck if you my friend. And this nigga's beating your ass. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you leave him until you're unhappy. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you, are you happy? Right. Because I can't hold you at night. I can't give you that happiness. As yeah. long as you happy, I'm happy with you. You understand? Yeah. Until you ain't happy no more, then we gonna jump that nigga. You feel me? Yeah. But right. but y'all, y'all ain't finna jump me for yeah. saying you yeah. are forgetting. Your, hey. <laughs> but until, until <laughs> that, that shit, that's how I go down. Y'all from the hood? Y'all seen that shit? You be like, don't hit her, and then both the motherfuckers jump on you. So you, you be know like, what you know I what? Too? Because my brother, he um, he's he's brain injured because when he was seventeen years old, he saw a man beating up his wife or girlfriend, and he interceded, and they wound up hitting my brother, and he flatlined and coded eighteen times. Damn. So now he has to live with. He used to have seizures, a lot of stuff like that. So he'll never be the same because he tried to, because. Yeah. He tried to intercede. That's why when people be fighting with that, I, hmm. I ain't see nothing. Now, if somebody, if I see a one, I, that's honestly, different. But you, okay, yeah. listen. Before we end this, let me tell you about the craziest fucking experience. Now that you're bringing this up, <laughs> so oh my god, listen, I got to your shit. Everybody know me a star like watching oh, fights. Oh, so go yeah. ahead. <laughs> Me too. I lo- no, you don't. I no, no. Uh, uh, all right, so I'm gonna give you my phone later on because I got a few. Allegedly, listen, yeah. Allegedly, I got some good shit. I got some good shit. But so I'm getting out my car. I'm so. It's just so funny that I end up texting my homeboy. His name, like on Instagram, is Why So Fly. That's my homeboy. His name is Cash and whatnot. So I'm texting him. I just so happened that while I'm texting him, getting out my car, he gets out his car and we're like in the same neighborhood. We didn't even realize. While we're talking, chopping it up, it's some girl that looks like she's either like mixed with Mexican and Hawaiian, and she's just running <laughs> crazy towards me. So now I'm posted up, scapo out, allegedly. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> ooh, you feel me? Like, what's she running down for? She's not even running down on me. She's running from this guy oh, who is, mind you, it was cold as shit outside, too. It's cold. He has no shoes on. He's barefoot. He has on um swimming trunks, and he had on a... um. A wife beater. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So she comes and she's running behind us from him, but she's not speaking no English. Like, you feel me? They're not speaking no English, and the guy's trying to grab her from, like, around us. So now we're posted up, like, nah, nigga, get back the fuck yeah. away from her. But then we ask her, like, is this your dad? Is this your dad? Like, you feel me? Because he looks older, and it's like, I'm not going to never protect no, you know, girl from her father. Like, you know, like, yeah. whatever the case may be, that's your father. Like, you know? So I don't know what the fuck is going on. Long story short, this motherfucker was selling this bitch Sex like with, uh, yes That's without her thinking. permission and he f- she fucking got loose and my homeboy ended up bringing her to the fucking precinct wow. that's all she kept saying precinct 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 like she just wanted to go to the cops like and he ended up br- and I'm like what the f- imagine what the fuck you run into this when I say full speed like full fucking running speed for her life. running for her fucking life out there from this older guy and the motherfucker guy and it's cold as shit 
swim trunks on and he got like Hawaiian colors on like he's on a vacation like bright ass swim trunks on a bright ass fucking wife beater feet out and he's chasing her and he's like this to her okay I got you like whisper, like you know mm-hmm, like shaking mm-hmm. his hand saying whatever he's saying like I'm gonna get you like I got you like okay alright okay go 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 like at first he was just begging her like come on come on but then she was like she was not with it we was not trying to let her go either cause it's like nigga Hell no, I don't you know knew what's something was up. Yeah. I don't know what's the, the way this girl looked is so scared that shit hurt in my heart like she just looked as so terrified like frightened like no 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 and that's why I'm like this can't be her dad like yeah. I done got many ass whoopings you feel me I <laughs> never look like this like you know like yeah. it ain't to the point where I'm running behind people from my dad cause I know I'm gonna have to catch this shit sooner or later like it is what Some it is straight up sex no. trafficking shit going she, on right in front of your face right, under your right in the fucking Bronx bro Right in the fucking Bronx, like I'm sex so track. glad she got like, away. Yo, yes, bro, I was listen. I was like, don't. I was like, go ahead, do what y'all gotta do. Take us over. I can't be in no police contact, so you know I'm going this way. <laughs> but make sure she get there. Yeah. <laughs> but I, part of my supervised releases, like, I can't go. But you good, yeah. mama? They got, yeah. they got part, you. Part of my supervised releases, I cannot have no police contact. So you go ahead and. Take care of her. Make sure she good. I had hit him. I'm like, yo, so what's up? He was like, yeah, we took her. I took her in there, and they just, I guess, you know, they was dealing with her, and they dealt with her. And I was like, yo, that shit is fucking crazy and That's scary crazy. about what the fuck is going on. These motherfuckers kidnapping these girls you know be and got them out if here I selling their pussies. little white girls ride, riding their bikes by themselves, I'd be like, oh, yes. and they look at their phone, I'd be like, I'd be oh, so nobody's scared. not luring them somewhere. Yeah. Like... Because they all have that look, and they always yes. kidnapping, and they yes. make a movie about it, and I'm like... Oh my God! <laughs> but I'll be minding my business sometimes because you see, I'm a, this is my last statement. But y'all see <laughs> how that Lindsay Lohan ran down on that bitch and she bopped her when she Lindsay Lohan thought that that lady was kidnapping that child and no, it was, I didn't the, see it was that. a what mother and a child. Where was this? I gotta. This Google was a. This. It, I'll show you later. But the mother, like Lindsay, was recording and you hear Lindsay like, "Hey, hey!" And next thing you know, you see that phone hit the ground. <laughs> What's the that lady, mom that was, was the, like, the "Bitch, that's my that's child. Like, child." What the fuck she is wrong with you? She yeah. You was the lady? Was the lady black or white? I don't know, cause I, Lindsay I was black and white. So I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The point is, Sierra. you mind what, what your friend Sierra Listen, say? I always say this. The, uh, I have a friend named Sierra from Love and Hip Hop, right? And mm-hmm. she's from Atlanta, and she like oh, owns a glam shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Her. I love her. Listen, she, she, she has my a, homie from Brooklyn. Listen, That's crazy. I don't know. To me, she's single. Oh, I, I don't know who she go with. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that's not my business. So I don't be knowing, you know. Oh, well, I know Sierra. I, yeah, I don't know who, I who anybody go. I don't know who anybody go out with. <laughs> but she always says this slogan, like, um, mind the business that pays you. There you so go. So I mind my fucking business. If that shit don't pay me, I mind my business. I stay to myself. As much as you think that I know about shit, yeah. no. I look on the shade room, and that's how the fuck I find out shit. And I, I might really know have, about it, but I, really I ain't got to. Because I learned how to do, like, with blogging. It's all about, you have to read the book, Autumn and Manipulation, art of war, I all read the 50 that. laws of power. Just like that caption, like half of that stuff, I'll be like, it makes you. And a lot oh of a lot of this shit is paid for. A lot of this shit, people's paying for them to get up there and paying for them not to say this about yeah. them and paying for like a lot of these motherfuckers that's on the blogs is on payroll. Like, yeah. period. Like a lot of them. But I just wanted to um, <sighs> so shout you out. So wrap your show yes, up now. I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> this was Liddy. This was definitely Liddy. Liddy. Like, we going for a long time. <laughs> You know, when the talk is right and the conversation flows, you just can't help it. Yeah, that. but I'm hungry, and I got to tell her the juicy shit. And yeah. I can't tell it to these hoes. So fuck these mics. Oh, Go on and wrap up. Wrap yeah, up, I can't, wrap I can't up. tell it to these hoes. <laughs> yep. But I just want to shout out everybody for keeping it beautiful. Make sure y'all tune in. Make sure to um, rate, subscribe, comment. Make sure to type in K-E-E-P-I-N-B, mm-hmm. you know, big B's, B-U-T-E, <laughs> keeping it beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make sure to look out for little Mo. I thank her for coming out here. Word. I thank Wu for coming out Word, here because you know we're sure. sharing some experiences yeah. from jail. And of course, Dustin for being my special co-host. Thank you so much. Everybody this is keep good, it right? Aww. Word.